lead attorney here. Hope you guys are doing well. Yes, we are back. A Sunday edition. Can you guys hear me? I should have fixed the microphone before I started. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, what are we talking? Struggle streaming already. All right. Um, that threw me off. All right. Uh, what are we talking about today? I uh, hope you guys are doing well. We have a little relaxed Sunday edition YouTube Elementary. What is YouTube Elementary? Guys, I am on a YouTube journey. Just, just this past January, I was monetized. Now we're in August. Things are rolling along. And um, I'm making over easily over $10,000 a month. I did a video a couple of months ago showing you all of my back end analytics. Uh, now that I know what I'm doing a little bit, this YouTube stuff is starting to it's starting to, to, to get a little easier. So I want to share with you some of my trials and tribulations. I'm going to drop the link. We're going to talk about tips to grow your channel faster, strategies, tactics, things that you can do to get a bigger following, things that you can do to produce better videos, have better live streams, start making some of this, some of this guap, right? Uh, and this can be an excellent side hustle for so many of you. And for others who are more charity minded, it can absolutely be a way to give back. So I want to talk about this. Now, I want to label this YouTube University, but to do that, you know, you got to be on the university level and I'm not. Again, my channel was just monetized in January. So, you know, this is going to be YouTube elementary, not not a PhD level, not university level, not high school level, not middle school level, YouTube univer YouTube elementary level, second grade, third grade level. But, you know, uh, I've got about 35,000 uh, subscribers, easily making over 10 grand a month on this. So I know a little bit. I know a little bit. If if you've got 80,000 subscribers, you're not going to learn anything from this. But maybe you can participate and put us up on game, right? And uh, one of the one of the reasons that I, I I'm doing this today is because I was inspired uh, yesterday by a conversation that I had. I was in a YouTuber's chat and we were chatting. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a second. So that is what we are doing. Who, who do we got in the house? Uh, just really, just really quickly, we got yo little rock is in the house, right? Got banana pineapple. What's banana pine? Uh, pineapple banana. What is <laughs> making me hungry? What is a uh, pineapple banana? He's worth the money for a consultation. All right. <laughs> Did I do a uh, consultation with you? I actually had a uh, consultation this morning and I've got another one at, I believe, 4.30. So we're not going to be able to do a, an eight-hour live stream, right? But uh, but um, uh, thank you for saying that. I never tell, you know, if we come, come on here and we're talking about YouTubers and stuff, you know, it's all fair game. But whenever I do consultations, I always keep that uh, confidential and private. So uh, if you did have a consultation with me, I, I really appreciate you saying that. We got Yimmy in the house. Shout out to Yimmy over there with the pounds. Uh, it's always great to see Yimmy. Let me get this straight. I always say I'm not going to mispronounce his name. We got Tasha. We got uh, Jones Sounds main event. Dogan. Did I get it right? Dogan S. -S. Shout out to Dogan. Lovey in the house. Be alert. Sim. Sim gave me an Sim Saya. Am I saying that right? I, what I said I was going to do, guys, talking about consultations. I said I'm going to figure out a way to give a, a free discount code for consultations. If you want to know if you're a man or a woman, but especially a man, and you want to know if you should get married to your girlfriend. I am going to give out a free discount code for 15 minute consultations, 15 minutes. And this is what I'm going to do. You're going to call me and you're going to tell me about your situation in 15 minutes. So you better speak fast. And I've got some questions in my own head. I have some questions in my own head. After, If you don't know me, mucho gusto. I am the lead attorney, 20 year uh, divorce attorney. So I know a little bit about marriages and divorces, a little bit about relationships. I've heard everything. I scared a few of you 
with my uh my my best love story, right? Some of you are like leader turn. That's not a love story at all. Fair enough. You have never seen a bigger demonstration of love. This stuff ha- I don't want to say this stuff happens all the time, but guys, this is what divorce attorneys see all the time. Not to that level, but you know things that'll run the gamut. We see the whole rainbow. Um. So anyway. I'm I'm, going to find a way to figure out a discount code so you can call me and tell me about your two year, you know, your two year relationship, three year relationship. She's pressuring you to get married. And I've got some of my own questions that I have cultivated over 20 years. And so you're telling me and we're talking and talking. There's going to be a buzzer for 15 minutes and it's going to go off and I'm going to say yes or no. And then I'm going to hang up. Right. And that's what the oracle is. Right? The oracle doesn't give you any explanation. Do you go up to, to, to the mountaintop to talk to the oracle? You say, listen, we're going to go to war. Are we going to win or lose? And the oracle says, lose. <laughs> you don't know why. You don't know how to prevent it. You don't know how to get better. You're just good. That's the destiny. That's the fate. Right. And so shout out to Sil because Sil was like, I was saying, what should be the name for these consultations? So said the hot 15. I love that. I love that. If I do these uh, consultations and it's kind of tongue in cheek, but you are also talking to a man with a lot of experience. Uh, I'm definitely going to call it the hot 15. I love that name. So shout out to Sam. We got uh, Levon. Am I saying that right? Levon Easley. Shout out to Levon. Bohemia Mama in the house. Okay. We got Miss B Fitness Finesse. Glad that she's in the house. She's got a YouTube channel. We're going to talk all about this, guys. Starting up starting up YouTube is rough, right? Starting up with YouTube is absolutely rough, but we are absolutely going to talk about it because um, I want us all to grow, and we're growing. We are absolutely growing. I see a lot of you now with uh, YouTube channels, right? So I, I love it. I love it. What does Nana say? 10 grand? Yeah, 10 grand. It's actually more. It's actually more because some of you, uh, shout out to Pineapple Banana, some of you see me on YouTube and then you call me up for consultations and that's not included in the 10 grand, right? The PayPal stuff, Cash App stuff, all that stuff is outside of the 10 grand. And uh, if uh, Nana, I did a video a month or two ago which showed you all of my back end analytics. So it's not just me talking. I'm actually showing you. Very few YouTubers in this sector show you their analytics. I'm going to show you a few today, but I'm kind of saving up because I want to show you the five, uh, the 50,000. I, I did a video at 10,000 subscribers, a video at 25,000 subscribers. I'm going to do one at 50,000 and then another one, maybe the last one at 100,000. So I'm going to show you a little bit, not too much because, you know, Hopefully, at some point in the in the near future, I get to the fifty thousand. But uh, you know, Nana, go back to that other video that I did. It's called YouTube something. How much I made with the uh, twenty five thousand subscribers, and I show you. You see it all. And actually, it could have been uh, substantially more than ten thousand. But I took a vacation, and I'm gonna talk about that again uh, uh, in this one. This actually inspired this this video. But uh, yeah, we got, uh, so shout out to Nana. Shout out to Mike Reed in the house. We got Rhapsody Black. Shout out to you, lovey. Uh, One brother, Larry Walker in the house. (laughs) Shout out to Leslie, man. Leslie Leslie caught my eye because most people are like, hey, Lita Turdy, shout my channel out. I'm like, yeah, I shout your channel out and this and that. Leslie's like, no, forget the channel. Shout me out. She hit me up. She was like, shout out Leslie Kilpatrick. So shout out to Leslie Kilpatrick. Uh, Salute. Salute to Leslie. She is awesome. We got mail in the house. One slice. (sighs) Miss Hall, I know you hate it. Why is your name spelled like that? Look, Lakaya, that has to be it. Did I say, uh, I hate mispronouncing people's names. I hate it. Shout out to Miss Hall. She hates what I call her Miss Hall. It's formal. I will agree, but I just never want to mispronounce your name. Let's put it in the chat if I'm saying it right. Lakaya, that's what I'm going with. All right. Uh, we got uh, Kareen, Kareen in the house, a black professional ops. Jeez, that's a name right there, right? Pro- sorry, I don't have my glasses on because all these lights. Professor Black Ops. 
Shout out to Professor Black Ops. Cybersecurity for the people. That's what we need, man. Uh, isn't Apple going to start searching our phones for crazy photos? Um, it's, it's man, we're, it's getting rough, guys. Uh, shout out, shout out to uh, to my man over here with the cybersecurity because we absolutely need it. Absolutely need it. Oh, look who we got in the house. We got Frank talking about people who need to start a, a YouTube channel. Man, Frank uh, stole the show in our last live stream. Everybody loves this man, and he won't he won't start a channel. He says, look, he's thinking about it. He's mulling it over. And that is exactly what you should do, because you, you start a YouTube channel, you get talked about every day. Someone sent me an... You guys know I'm starting. I'm starting to. Uh, I'm trying to do this Instagram thing, and it's not working out. I've only got three posts. I, I my time is limited, but I'm starting. Someone sent me a link yesterday to two dudes talking about me, random dudes, and uh, there's uh, talking about you know I'm homosexual and this and that. I don't know who these people are. They've never been to the stream. I've never discussed them. One was an attorney. If you can believe that, right? Uh, and I, I've never heard of these people before. So, you know, it's easy for me to do it because you know I've been I'm, I've been working for so long, guys. I'm on the down end now. I've, I've, I've told some of y'all already that I'm getting out because I've spent two decades in the game, twenty years, and I'm 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 done having you pay me money and then I I take on your stress. I don't want to do it anymore. You know, to, is anybody in the military? Everybody's like, lead attorney, why don't you get to the damn point? I came for YouTube tips and you're talking about the military. And according to you, you've never even been in the military. So why are we talking about the military? It's true. Uh, but um, imagine talking to some, you know, if you talk to a guy who's about to, you know, he's 19 years old, he's about to go to war. And he's like, yeah, defend America and this and that. And he's all hyped up, right? All the training that he's gotten or basic training or whatever. Maybe he went to some camp or something, Fort Pendleton or somewhere. Uh, Fort Bragg. What do we got here in Georgia? We got a few. Um, but talk to a veteran who's been fighting in a war for 20 years. You know, it's not the same chipperness. You're not very chipper after you fought for 20 years, right? I'm chipper about this stuff. But not not the legal stuff anymore. Anyway, what was I going with that? Oh, so I'm 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 heading out. Plus, I don't have any kids, which Frank uh, underscored in that last uh, in that last video. So there's only there are very few ways that you can really come at me, right? But if I had kids in school, I don't want people necessarily talking to my kids about me on YouTube. I don't want my kids seeing what other people are saying about me on YouTube. People say some ugly things about me. But again, if it's just me, who cares? But I understand. Shout out to the Steel Curtain. I've been pressing him since day one to get a channel. He's like, hell no. <laughs> Why would I do that? Shout out to Jay Rizzle. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't even know who Jay Rizzle is. Talking about a black man that leads a channel. He ain't going to do it. Shout out to Solomon Kennard. Black man over there in Silicon Valley. You don't think we need more of him on YouTube? You think he's going to do it? He ain't going to do it. All right. So if, if Frank does decide to do it, I understand why Frank is hesitant. But if he, he if he does decide to do it, uh, it'd be a great contribution to the community. Shout out to my man, W. Alfonso. Shout out to W. Alfonso, man. Uh, y'all y'all be supporting your boy. We got Moonbeam in the house. What does Moonbeam say? Appreciate you and your platform. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Leslie again. Listen, uh, Chris, do I know you? Crystal Fowler. Shout out to, I know somebody named Crystal Fowler, but I don't think that's you. Lead attorney is awesome. Thank you so much, Leslie. Shout out to Leslie Kilpatrick and W. Alfonso says, yeah, YouTube is cold. Listen, shout out to also AJ is road tripping. The sponsor for last for the last live stream, uh, super super uh, generous in, in in sponsoring that last live stream. Whoever whoever gives the most for super chats or cash apps or whatever, I'm just gonna say you're sponsoring it, right? So uh, AJ is road trip. It was a sponsor for the last live stream, and I am so appreciative. All right, 
Let me tell you what inspired this, this, uh, this live stream here. I was talking with a content creator very close to the, to the lead attorney channel, a brother channel, Rebuilding Black Wall Street. And I slipped in on, on his channel and, and he was having a live and we were talking and we were talking about YouTube and analytics. And I told him that, you know, I just got back from Mexico, guys, and I was gone for about two weeks. I told him those two weeks decimated me in terms of my channel. It decimated my channel. And he was like, what? I was like, yeah. And we were talking about it. And I told him how me taking those two weeks off, it just dropped everything down. And it was weird because the time before I took, I, I had to go to Florida. Sometimes I go back and forth to Florida, guys. So I had to go to Florida last month. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put anything up for like a week and it dropped it down. And then I had to go to Mexico for two weeks and man. And he was like, where'd I said, listen, this is what I'll do. I'll send you, I'll send you my chart so you can see, cause he didn't know. And I was going to do that. And I was like, no, I mean, I want him to have the information, but I just don't want it to be him. I'm, like we're a family guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to show all of you this. When I started YouTube, I thought that if I made a video and it did okay, I would get money on that video like every month because it was going to be up. People are going to be watching the video every month. I should get money from the video every month, right? If, if it's up. YouTube doesn't work that way at all, guy, at all. Like you got, but you got about 48 hours <laughs> before if you don't start putting out content, man. You know, shout out to uh, uh, mediocre tutorials and reviews. I think there was a point where he had he had a full time job and he was making two videos a day. Why do you need to make two videos a day? Because, I mean, you get punished if you stop. Shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. He makes six, seven videos every day. That's why he's killing the game. He's getting rich. But you can't just make one video and then come back two weeks later and see where you're at. <laughs> you might as well stop. Right. So I want to share this with you and how it affected me. It affected my channel so negatively. So I'm going to show you uh, this. But this is inspired. I was I was going to send him this privately. But I said, no, we're all fam. And I want, I want you guys to see this, too. Because if you need to know what you're getting into, I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know it was going to be a, this damn hamster wheel where you constantly have to, to churn out content. Right? I didn't know. Um, but this is what we're going to talk about right now. Uh, let me just catch a few more of these. Man, you guys are so generous. Thank you so much, Crystal. <laughs> Thank you so much, Crystal. Crystal says, lead attorney, your legal insight is much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you for the generous super chat. And thank you for saying that too. I really do try to, to, to just give you guys the information. I'm getting old. So, you know, none of us know how long we're going to be around. Guys, do you want to know something about attorneys? If you've been practicing over five years, we have clients die on us. We have clients die on us. And, you know, it's like, wow. You know, if you're a doctor, you, you okay, that's that's normal. But attorneys... It, it happens and it doesn't happen often, you know, but I'll, I'll get a call maybe once a year, once every two years, you know, I'll be coming back from court and uh, the paralegal will say, you know, and it's so scary too, because they'll say, Hey, uh, by the way, you need to return this call. Who's it from? Uh, Atlanta homicide. And you don't know if it's, they're calling for you the the attorney or for you as the person right uh but yeah life is short is i guess what i'm not necessarily short some people have long lives but uh it's uncertain you don't ever know when you're going right uh shout out to spencer's crypto vi okay these the crypto boys in the house we got the crypto boys in the house shout out shout out to spencer's crypto vibe i dig the channel bro thank you so much oh man look who we got got my man andrew walker andrew walker in the house what does andrew walker say good to see you i want to start a channel about random stuff this is i'm so glad you said this because this does not work we're going to talk about all of this guys you should roll over to consultation and basic contracts for youtubers and entertainers 
if you don't get hate, then you're not doing anything. It's true. Have fun. Thank you so much. Uh, Andrew is a strong brother. He should absolutely start a channel. Starting a channel about random stuff is, 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 is a path to failure. Uh, YouTube punishes you for that. I, I'm starting to learn what YouTube punishes you for. And so this is what we're going to talk about. And I want to let you guys know before you get punished, this is a shout out to Rebuilding White Wall Street. He was like, oh, OK, I'm glad you put me on game. So that, you know, so you take the punishment and I take the lesson. And that's how we need to do. Let me be punished. And then you just get the lesson so that you don't have to walk through it. Right. Uh, so that's what's um, that's that's that's. That's kind of the point of this. Shout out to um, shout out to Leslie for the cash app. Also, shout out to uh, Sim Saya for the cash app, generous cash app as well. Guys, y'all hold me up so much, man. Y'all hold me up so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I so so appreciate it. We got um, we got. Uh, I'm gonna get into it in a second, guys. We got Rudy in the house with the pounds. One day I'm gonna actually hold a physical pound. No, that's not a pound, is it? No, that's a euro. Damn. We get the big buddy in here. Shout out with the euro. Shout out to Rudy. Uh, I, I've, I've held euros. I've held euros, but I've never held a uh, a pound. Says you can make some quick tips like Mike uh, Mike Mandel Law by Mike. I don't know. I don't know about Mike Mandel. I have to check that out. Thank you for the 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 heads up. I'll need to check that out. I don't know about him. We all talking about talking about strong brothers. Talking about strong brothers. We got Andre C. Hatchet in the house. Guys, please go check out his channel. Please go check out his channel. Uh, this is strong brother. And we need more brothers like him who are strong and do YouTube. And it's hard because you're going to get talked about. But if you can do it, if you can make it work, you can just really put uh, other people on in our community on game. Right. Uh, what well, we got, Lovey? Shout out to Lovey G. Thank you, Lovey, for the for the generous uh, cash out uh, super chat. Says thank you for the entertainment. Yes, what I'm trying to do, guys, is kind of mix entertainment with the info. It's a hard balance. Sometimes I don't get it right, but uh, I, I do want us to learn as well. <laughs> I was just talking about AJ's road trip as a sponsor. Shout out to uh, he's he, he, so generous, so so generous in uh sponsoring the 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 last live stream so thank you so much aj all right um let me let me tell let me show you what let me show you what uh what is curly kimmy curly kimmy is another we got some youtubers in here curly kimmy is a youtuber says i've been struggling for a while it is a struggle it is an absolute struggle right uh leslie that's a good that's a good question let me show you my let me show you some of my stats guys here's what happened Everything was rocking and rolling. I'm doing well. I have to go to Mexico. I go down there to Mexico for two for two weeks. All right. Does anybody? And I go the first half of the month. I'm here. The second half, I'm in Mexico. Think in your mind what my stats. Think what you think my stats look like. All right. What are you thinking in for the first half? I'm here. The second half, I'm in. I'm in Mexico producing no content. All right. What do you think my stats look like? Let's take a look at my views. <laughs> you want to do that? Let's take a look at my views for a second. Uh, give me one second here. Just make sure it's all good. Uh, see if I can pull it up. Bam. <laughs> uh, look at this BS. These are my views. All right. Everything is rocking and rolling. Look at these lines. Okay. This is uh, 30,000. So in this day, you know, I hit maybe 15, 20,000. This day, 30,000. Everything's going good. This day, I hit 40,000. Does anybody want to take a guess as to when I went to Mexico? Guys, look at this right here. I mean, it was just a, a, a decline that almost went to zero. Does anybody want to guess when I came back? <laughs> right? That's my views. This is my views. All right, let's take a look. What else I got? Oh, watch time. Watch time doesn't really, it doesn't really mean anything once you've been monetized, right? But uh, it, you know, first we have my views. 
then this is a different, this is not the same graph, guys. This is not the same graph. This is a different graph. This is how long people watch my video or how many hours people watch me in a day. In this day, people watch me for 7,000 hours. In this day, it was about, you know, about 8,000, 9,000. This day was probably about 13,000 hours. In a day, that's pretty good, right? This day, people watch me for 11,000 hours. Anybody want to guess when I went to Mexico? <laughs> right? This day, people probably watch me for 10 minutes. You get punished. Take a vacation and see what happens. I got punished, right? Let's go to a different graph. Does anybody want to guess what, what this graph looks like? Bam. What is this? This is my subscribers, guys. This is where I really got hurt. I was doing good. I was doing good. Guys, there were days when I was getting, you know, 250,000, 250. I was getting 250 subscribers a day. This day, I got 500 subscribers in one day. You know, this day was probably like 550. This day was about 500 subscribers. I got 600, about 600 subscribers, 625 subscribers in this day. Starts going down a little bit, but then it just is it's, I stop producing content and it just goes all the way down. Then I come back and the subscribers come back. Right. So uh, what is what does Mr. Stewart say? He's absolutely right. Consistency. You know, you can't you can't be producing content and then go on vacation and think it's all good. It's not. <laughs> and, and listen, I mean, it just it it. It dropped me to zero in, in every metric, in every single metric. I would show you guys more metrics, but I don't want to let the cat out of the bag because I want to do the 50,000 subscriber thing, right? Because I did a 10,000 subscriber and a 25,000. Go back and look at my video where I did it, where I had, when I did the 25,000 subscribers, I did a small, I had to go down to Florida. I did a small little Florida trip. Look what happened to me. The same thing, but this was worse. I mean, to go from 500 subscribers a day to 12, like that's bad. <laughs> that's bad because, you know, I'm, I'm small, guys. And so you kind of, you know, you look around and you see, you know, O'Shea Duke Jackson at 150. You see Kevin Samuels at a million, you know, you got your little 30. So you're like, okay, you know, I want to keep going. What does Mr. Stewart say? You know, consistency is key. And then you just get slammed all the way back. Right? So uh, I said I was going to send uh, Rebuilding Black Wall Street these graphs to kind of show him and talk to him about it. But uh, no, I, I mean, I want him to see it, too. But I want all of you guys to see it because what you need to know what you're getting into. Don't think like me. Oh, I'll make a couple of videos and then those videos will generate views. Those videos will generate watch time. Those videos will generate subscribers. YouTube is like Janet Jackson, man. Like, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> What videos have you put out in the last 48 hours? Don't talk to me about what you did in February. I don't want to hear nothing about February. We are in August, right? This is how YouTube is. And this was a big lesson for me. It's the second time I learned it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. All right. The second time they got me, you like, fool me once. Okay. Shame on you. But this one, I got me. I mean, this one I learned. I learned this one. Uh, what is um, Brian? Shout out to Brian uh, Jehovah. Says you and Kwame motivated me to start my channel. Yes. I listened to your first video about starting YouTube. Yeah, I think I've got two or three. And I'm going to keep this uh, these live streams going because I want us all the time. I'm going to drop the link, guys. I'm, you know, I'm setting it up, but I'm going to drop the link. And I want you guys to come on. Let's share tips. Ask me questions. Let me ask you some questions. I'm learning. Rebuilding Black Wall Street, it took me eight months to get monetized. He got monetized in, in less than 30 days. He met the requirements in less than 30 days. Every time I talk to this man, uh, he teaches me game, even though he just started. Some people are on, some of you guys are on it. So we can all learn from each other. We can all learn. What is, uh, sorry about that. What does uh, Ed, uh, Ed Rock say? Yo también quiero empezar un canal de YouTube. Saludo. Shout out to my man, Ed Rock. Ed Rock needs to start a channel on how to teach us some Spanish, right? 
What does that rock say? What does this mean? He says, he says he also wants to start a, a YouTube channel. And you can make a YouTube channel about anything. The one thing you can't do is make a YouTube channel about everything. Shout out to my man who said he wanted to start up. He, he wanted to do a channel about random stuff. It'll never work. YouTube will punish you so bad. YouTube wants you to talk about one thing, maybe two. If you've got a third thing to talk about, YouTube wants you to start an entirely different channel. They do not want you to have a channel with a bunch of a bunch of random stuff on it. They want you to have you can make a channel about anything and it'll work, but it better be about one thing. And if you've got something else to talk about it, to talk about, then you can do that. But you need to you need to start a, a whole new a whole new channel. <laughs> don't 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 get on here and 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 think you're going to you're just going to have this potpourri channel. People, it, it used to work in 2015, 2016, but even then it was difficult. You need to specialize now, right? So um, I, I wanted I wanted to show you guys those those uh, those. <laughs> Those embarrassing and uh, and and heartbreaking uh, charts that I had, I was gonna I was gonna slip them to to rebuilding Black Wall Street, but really I won't. Even though they're embarrassing, because you know that trip it really hurt my channel. To be honest, I want you all to see it so that you learn. You take let me get punished, and then you take the lesson. All right. What are some possible solutions? And me and rebuilding and other people were talking about this. You know what rebuilding does well? I don't do this at all. I should, but I don't know how. I never learned. Rebuilding uses ads. He's an expert in placing ads. And that's why his channel is growing so rapidly. I've never bought an ad. I never know how. I've never used the Google AdSense ad. I, ne I don't know how they work. But he says that they are extremely effective. Maybe if I had had ads running when I was down in Mexico, I wouldn't have experienced that decimation. Right? I mean, it, 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 it decimated me. Look, look, look at what happened. Look, look at look how things were going when I was here. Look how things uh this is when I was here. This is when I was gone. It went, it was gonna go to zero. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's called like this grade down here, this gradient. I mean, it's a slope, and it was going to zero. This is zero right here. It was headed to zero. This is when I came back and it popped up. I had to come back. Right. Uh, but this my whole channel was going to zero. <laughs> my whole channel, I've been on here over a year. The whole damn thing was going to zero. Right. Maybe if I had had ads running, uh, then it would have helped. Also, maybe this was another thing we talked about. If I had done some videos before I left and then when I left, just uploaded those, right? That could have been a thing. Or what some people do, even if they're in hotels or something, they'll still do a live stream from their hotel. Anything to, to keep it going, right? Anything to keep it going. Because if you don't keep it going, you're going to zero. <laughs> you are absolutely going to zero. So I want to talk about, I want to let you guys know the lesson that I learned about that. Uh, what is, what is S P W Nola? Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, best of clips. This is what he's talking about. Anything that you can just push out, you know, if you're on the airplane or you're getting your, you know, you're on the tarmac, you know, just push it out before you take off anything to, so that you, so you can say, Hey, I'm here. You two don't, don't take me to zero. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know that. Oh, we got a new member. Shout out to the new member. Shout out to Accounting 101 Made Simple by Jam. Am I saying that right? I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This <laughs> come on, Omar. Don't be put don't be putting names in my stuff now. Don't be putting names in my stuff. Shout, shout out to my man Omar, man. Shout out to my man Omar. Let's not burn anybody else up. I don't, I don't burn. I, I was going to go there. I didn't go go there. Shout out to a blind guy, his wife, their life. Repurposing content is the way to go. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, you're right. There, there are tips and, and tricks that you can do, but you got to know what you got to know that you need to do them. I didn't know that I needed to do them and I got punished. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got punished. So, you know, uh, people ask me, uh, you know, lead attorney, should I do videos? Should I do live streams? Should I do a combination? You know, what's going to work? What's not going to work? Guys, let me tell you something. Everything works. <laughs> On YouTube, it's so, it's so big. Everything works in terms of formatting. Everything, right? I started out doing videos. Videos absolutely work. The biggest YouTubers on, on the whole platform are do videos. You know, there'll be a five minute video, a 10 minute video, and they will just get millions and millions and millions. Mr. Beast, he has like, doesn't he have over 100 million subscribers? You don't see him doing live streams, he does just videos, right? Uh, the, the guy who made the most money on YouTube last year. He just does videos. You know why he does videos? Because he's eight years old. He made like $29 million last year. He's eight. Just does videos. Videos work. You know what else works? Live streams. Who does live streams? Anybody know who does live streams and is killing the game? He doesn't do video. He used to do videos. He don't do videos anymore. He, he was talking about, you know, clothing. He was talking about cologne. He started doing live streams and look what happened. He, he don't do it. I don't think he doesn't do videos anymore. The only videos that he does are just recordings. They're just clips of the live streams. Right. He's, he's not doing videos anymore. Just live streams. Do videos work? Yes. Do live streams work? Yes. I've done them both. Guys, before I would just do videos. Then I started doing videos and live streams. Now, right now, I'm just doing I'm just doing live streams. Maybe I'll go back to videos. Who knows? You can eat. You can go. I mean, let's let's take a look at some content creators. Let's take a look at some women. Shout out to the women. Who's a woman that just does live streams in this sector? I've never seen a video from her. Uh, shout out to Jessica X. Right. Has anybody seen a video from Jessica X? A standalone video? I've never seen a standalone video. I'm not, I don't want to say that she doesn't do them. You guessed it. I've, I've never seen a video from her. I've only seen live streams. Um, and she's killing the game. Guys, I clicked on her recent video. She got a new intro with the, the Japanese drums or something. I was like, oh, it was cold. It was cold. Jessica X, man, she's cold. But she's killing the game. She only does live streams. You can have a mix. Uh, we got a, a new, a new, a new young black woman on the scene. Rush, Rush Ribbons. She does both, right? She does a lot. She does video standalone videos. She does live streams. I think she's coming out with a book, and she's going to do chapters with her book. She's she's killing it. So she does both, right? Uh, so you can you can do just live streams. You can do videos and live streams. Guys, uh, <laughs> let me tell you something right quick. There's a lot of BS on YouTube. Y'all know it. Y'all know it, especially in the woman sector, but in the man sector, too. There's just a lot of BS in, our, in, in this sector. Uh, but uh, there are a few. <laughs> there are a few YouTubers that they have the toughness. Right. Uh, who has the toughness? Kevin Samuels has the toughness. Um, who else has the toughness? MTR. Right. He was putting out two videos a day. Uh, who has it? O'Shea. You think O'Shea is going to give you an inch? <laughs> O'Shea is not going to give you an inch. He'd be cussing people out. O'Shea cusses people out. O'Shea's got the toughness. Do you know in the female sector? Black female sector, who has the toughness? Let me tell you something. Uh, there is a young, a new one. There's a new woman on the scene. Her name or her channel's name is Pink Book Lessons. Pink Book Lessons. I don't know if you guys have heard about her. Um, <laughs> she's got the toughness. Shout out to Pink Book Lessons. Uh, Y'all go check her out. If, somebody, if one of the, the moderators could drop uh, 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 the link to her, her channel in the chat, you know, her, her, she, I think she, you know, she's been on less than a year. 
I, I don't even have the toughness, guys, to be honest. If you want to, if you want an attorney who's got the toughness, go to Dennis Sperling. <laughs> you think Dennis Sperling is gonna give you an inch? He ain't give me nothing. Right. I'm 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 trying, I'm, 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 I'm like the nice guy. I'm the nice attorney. You talk about good cop, bad cop. You're talking about the lead attorney at Dennis Sperling, right? Uh, because Dennis ain't gonna give you an inch. Uh, Kevin ain't gonna give you an inch. O'Shea ain't gonna give you an inch. Let me tell you something. Pink book lessons ain't giving nobody an inch. I I I love her 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 content. It is amazing. I know it's it's just amazing. Y'all y'all go uh y'all go check her out. Plus, just like just like mediocre uh, tutorials and reviews, just like O'Shea, she puts out content every day. I don't know how you guys do this. What does Dexter say? Shout out to Coach Greg Adams. Does two live streams per day plus videos and runs other channels. How do, how do they do? Tell me. How do you guys do this? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you guys do it. But hopefully one day I'll find out. Do you guys see how I do it? <laughs> you guys, I don't need to remind you how I do it. Right? People, shout out to Coach Greg Adams. That's two live streams per day plus videos and runs other channels. I don't know how they do it. Because you see, I'm showing you how I do it. It's some BS. <laughs> I work a full-time job. Can you do this part-time? Uh, apparently, I don't know. This is how I do it. And you see how it works out for me. Oh, yes. Well, Bernard Riley has the toughness in terms of putting out content. That's true. But I don't put him in the same... He seems He seems more on my side. He seems like he's a little nicer. Right. He seems I don't I don't wouldn't I wouldn't uh, you know Kevin Samuels, O'Shea, Dennis Sperling. Dennis Sperling tries to be nice, but you you can kind of see it. He ain't that nice. <laughs> I think I think Bernard is a nice guy. I would put him with me. I would put him with me. Right. Shout out to a blind guy, his uh wife, their life says, I want to stay, but I'm out with family and they keep talking to me too. Much love to the lead attorney in the chat. Yes, please, guys. You you want to talk about maybe the most professional, the most professional uh, content creators that I've come across? It's them. Like I tried to set up a collab with them, and like they're too professional for me, man. Most of the collabs, guys. I don't know if you know. This is not me talking. This is not me talking shit about O'Shea. Because there's no one more responsible for, uh, for my my success than him. He's had me on three times. When O'Shea says, "Hey man, uh, let's do it. Let's do a uh, collab at Tuesday at two o'clock," I say, "Okay." So I come home to the office. I come home from the office and I, I get all set up, and I'm sitting there at one fifty waiting, and I it's one fifty five, and I'm waiting two o'clock waiting. 205, waiting. 210, wait. Say, hey, O'Shea, we still on? He's like, yeah, yeah, give me two hours. And I'm like, bet, two hours, right? And then we come on, and two hours later, he does it, right? Every single time, we've never started on time. Now, why not? Because he's doing seven videos a day, and he's in medical school. But he's doing me a favor, right? You think I'm like, hey, why didn't you show up at 2 o'clock? Hell no, right? Uh, juxta. <sighs> I want to say something about another content creator, but I'm not going to do it. Anyway, uh, most of these things are just kind of like, yeah, you know, we'll do it. We'll, we'll catch it. We'll catch it. And you know, you just, I did a, uh, I did a, uh, uh, live, I did a collaboration with Ike. How, how the hell does Ike not have a hundred thousand subscribers? Some, some of you people have so the injustice, the injustice, right? For Ike Ogiamia not to have 100,000 subscribers. This black man in our community, right? Ike, you know, we have Ike five minutes before. Ike, what are we talking about? Oh, we'll, think, we'll, we'll talk about something. I can't do it. I can't do it. His accent. We'll talk about something, right? 
and we just start we start talking. They, they're kind of relaxed. They're informal. Uh, <laughs> blind guy, his wife, like, I don't think there's any informality. I mean, they're doing mic checks, right? They are just, they are super audit, man. They're, they are the most professional content creators that I, I've, I've, I've run across. Yes, I, he's, he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. I have no idea why, how he doesn't have a hundred that if anybody, if anybody in our community uh, should have a hundred thousand it, and doesn't, it's, it's absolutely, uh, it's absolutely him. You know, who's going to have a hundred thousand in a year and a half, uh, pink book lessons. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. She might have a hundred thousand now. I don't know how much she has. I don't, I don't think her subscriber count shows, but she's got the toughness. Uh, shout out to Rich T. What does Rich T say? I'm a black firearm dealer and instructor in Michigan. Starting my channel thanks to you, O'Shea, TGRC, TGCR. I don't know who that is. And Kevin Samuel. Stay solid, sir. I plan to be the next OW girly. I don't know who that is. There's a black dude that was, uh, I think last year, he was on, he was on Joe Rogan. He has a really... Is a, a a black dude who who does guns, right? Maybe that's him. And you could be the next. You could be the. You could absolutely be the next black dude who talks about guns. Guns is huge, huge. A lot of dudes into guns, and you, I think you can you can definitely get some ad money there. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, everybody's like, drop the drop the link, drop the link. Let me uh, let me drop the link right here so you guys can come in, and let's talk about this YouTube stuff. You know, who are people? that should have more subscribers than they do, right? Why do people have less subscribers than they should? What can we learn from one another? What are some of the tips? I've dropped the, uh, I've dropped the link. I've absolutely dropped the link here if somebody wants to uh, come in and talk. Hopefully we can get some uh, new YouTubers. If you're a new YouTuber, come on, shout your channel out. Shout your channel out. Tell us what's going on with your channel. Let's talk, guys. Don't don't be scared. You know, I hope. You know, I I I I showed you something already that should scare you, right? So if, you know, uh, this should scare you. YouTube is for real. It is absolutely for real. You will be punished. Um, you will absolutely be punished. Who did I say uh, should be at hundred? Ike Ogiamian. Ike Ogiamian should definitely be at 100,000. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Um, yes. It's all about the algorithms. You're right, man. You got to learn how to finesse it. Shout out to Miss B Finesse. I'm going to call you up in a second. You got to know how to finesse the these algorithms. Uh, because if you don't, you're going to end up just like me, man, being, getting punished on the scene, right? Shout out to, uh, give me one second here. I also want to talk about this book. I don't know if you guys can, uh, I took the cover off. I, you know, if you buy a hardback book, they come with covers immediately. I'll, I'll rip it off and throw it. I have a thing against these covers, but I don't know if you can see this. It is called the YouTube formula, right? The YouTube formula. I, uh, I want to talk about this book, The YouTube Formula. This book is by Daryl Eves. Daryl Eves is the man behind Mr. Beast, the man behind all these billions of views. Daryl Eves knows what he's talking about. Uh, let me tell you something about me, guys. Everybody has their addictions. Everybody has their vices. Let me tell, let me tell you something about my, uh, my vice. I have a vice. I am addicted to... Uh, Marginal gains. If, if if there's information out there that I think can help me, you know, point zero point three percent, I want to get it. So I, I I buy all of this stuff. I do not mind spending money on BS if it can just help me out, even just a little bit. So maybe we can do a book review of this because I bought this book. Did it help me out? You guys can't see this. Uh, but I dog mark, I, I dog eared some of these pages. What you can't see is that from the this is a 300 page book. The first 150 pages, there's nothing dog eared. The first 150 pages is nothing but fluff. 
the second 150 pages, man, he's giving you the game. He's absolutely giving you the game. What does uh what does uh Leslie say? It's an inv- it's an investment. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Um, so I'm uh, maybe we can do a little book review too. I can flip through and tell you some of the dog, some of the places that I've dog eared, some of the things that I've learned. Ooh, I just opened it up. You know, I was, I was, uh, let me, let me, let me read this right quick. I did a whole, I did a whole video complaining about YouTube. If I had purchased this book before that, if I had read this one sentence before then, that video might not exist. What is, what is this sentence? I, it just says, uh, this is just part of the sentence. It says, but the real sweet spot came when he added a third dimension, the mainstream slash pop culture. What is he talking about? Oh, he's talking about the legal legal too. Who is the legal legal? Do you guys know who the legal legal is? The legal legal is the number one YouTube attorney. There are a few YouTube attorneys. Shout out to shout out to me. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. Shout out to Dennis Sperling. Shout out to Natalie. Shout out to Nate. Right. Shout out to uh, the one the the, the 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 attorney who curses her. Right. Uh, there are there's 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 a top dog. There's a top dog. The top dog is the legal legal. What did the legal legal start out? The legal legal started out talking about how to get into law school, how to take the LSAT, how to study when you're in law school. And, you know, he was getting a little bit. It wasn't kicking off. What did Daryl legal Daryl Eves? What did he say? Kicked him off. The real sweet spot came when he added a third dimension. Mainstream pop culture. What does he what does he mean? Can anybody translate this? Daryl leaves is white. Right. Can anybody translate that into black? What did Daryl leaves say? Daryl leaves said, oh, the legal legal blew up when he started talking about mainstream pop culture. What do black people call that? Anybody know? Does Anybody know what black people call when you integrate mainstream and pop culture? That was the complaint that I had in that video. Right. Uh, I was like, oh, I want to talk to men about child support. I want to talk to men about alimony. No one was watching. Celebrity news? No, I I think that's what white people call it. Yes. (laughs) Rhapsody got it. (laughs) Shout out to her. This is what black people call it. Or T. I'll I'll accept that too. Someone said T. I'll accept that. And for the men... The men, we call it clout chasing. The women, they'll call it tea. I will accept both of those. Both of those are acceptable answers. Sis Campbell says the tea. Yes, the tea and clout chasing is what you got to do. Now, when you do it, people will shame you for it. Oh, the lead attorney, you clout chasing again? Right? But Daryl Leaves told me to do it. <laughs> Daryl Leaves told me that the legal legal started out just like you, lead attorney. No one was watching his videos. But he starts talking about, you know, pop culture. He starts talking about mainstream. Now he's at a million subscribers. Right? Uh, all this is interesting. Interesting. What does Rich T say? Shout out to Rich T. Rich T says, uh, thank you, Rich T, for the super chat as well. Rich T says, o- OW Gurley is the founder of Black Wall Street. And TGCR is tall guy car reviews interesting big shot ammo will start in september shout out i'll be in georgia soon let's link absolutely guys anything will work tall guy car reviews i don't even know what it's about but i think i know what it's about i would never i'm 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 not tall i'm six three right but to me that's not tall anything if you're six five and up i'm gonna say that's tall how tall is a tall guy? Don't tell me he's six two. <laughs> if he's six five and above, I'm gonna call him tall. The fact that that channel works is a testament to the fact that anything will work. Guys, the legal legal. He has a million and a million, a million, a million and a half subscribers. That's a lot. There's a, there's also an attorney who has a million subscribers. You ready for this? Do you know what he does? 
He makes three minute videos. None of you will guess. He's making, you know, a millions of dollars a year as an, he's an attorney. Do you know what he does on YouTube? He picks locks. He picks locks. Anything will work on YouTube. This is an attorney who makes two minute videos, three minute videos. You, you've never seen his face. You've never seen his body. You just see his hands. And all he does is pick locks. Pick, 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 pick three. And he's done. He'll get a, a, un, a, a unpickable lock, an unbreakable lock, and he'll pick it in seven seconds. A million subscribers. What does that mean? It means, number one, anything will work on YouTube. A million subscribers and you're picking locks, even though you're an attorney. Number two, just because you are an attorney or a mechanic or an ad executive, or you work at Wendy's, doesn't mean you can't transition, start doing something that's random and blow up on YouTube. If an attorney who picks locks for three minutes at a time, Derek Jackson, three minute videos in his car. Guys, come on, start a damn YouTube channel. <laughs> start a YouTube channel. Oh, we got beautiful lies in the house. Shout out to beautiful, damn. I'm gonna get back to beautiful eyes, but Will Page said, tall guy is 6'10". That's tall. What car can he fit in? I guess that's why he has the channel, right? I guess that's why he has the channel. Absolutely, that's tall, right? Uh, shout out to beautiful eyes. This is another, someone please. Someone please drop this man's, um, link in the chat. So, saludos. Shout out to uh, La Bella. Shout out to La Bella. Yo, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Everybody's like, hey, I'm back here waiting, right? But what do you guys think about this? Who should have more followers? Who do you think is a really good channel, but they should have more subscribers? Um, what tips do you have for other people? I wish Rebuilding Black Wall Street was here because he, he could put us all on game on how to run these ads. People are making a killing running uh, Google AdSense ads on YouTube. I don't know how to do them, right? I have no idea how to do them. But uh, let's, let's, let's see. Let's, let's see what we got. All right, um, Rudy, Rudy, can you hear me? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm doing great, Rudy, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Perfect, perfect. So what do you think about this, YouTube? Uh, elementary, do you have a YouTube channel? Not yet, not yet. Okay, so what do you think about this subject? Uh, this is my job to 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 work on this field. Uh huh. And uh, if you can allow me, I'd like uh, to give you and everybody some uh, some quick tips. Yes. Some help. So, uh, the there are um, uh, there are four keys. Uh, to 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 run this uh, this business, first you have to 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 have some content. Uh, second, you have to to have some uh, some subscribers. After you have to have some engagement, and after you have to to play on the long run. Let me explain. So I'm gonna take you for example. Okay. Um, um, let's say um, I mean the, the the first thing you have to do is to you have to plan all your videos. It means uh, let's take a, a, a week. You take a, a five day in the week, and um, I was thinking about some uh, some topics you can uh, you can make. For example, you can make uh, something like it's a, a breakdown and a revisit. I give you an example. Uh, for example, you take uh, some uh, famous divorce cases. Uh, you take, uh, for example, Dr. Dre and his wife. And you try to help the brother and uh, show them uh, what was the different situation he get through, or uh, their his attorneys work to to to, to gain the battle and things like this. Uh, you can take famous people. Uh, I, I I can I can think about. Uh, let's take uh, for example O.J. Simpson. You can. Yes, I mean not not to cut you off, but I think we yeah, talked yeah. about this. We're talking about getting the mainstream, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about this. Uh, white people call it mainstream. White people okay. call it uh, popular culture. Black people call it clout chasing and tea, right? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. you, you you can mix this uh, these two things. Uh, you you can, uh, for example, you you can uh, you, you work in divorce field, so you can take all the cases you've been through and uh, apply these to uh, to famous people, and you in this way you can help brother to 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 see what the situation. And another key is the uh, the how you to work. When you edit your video, you have um, a field where you put all your tags. And if you put a certain tags, it means certain keywords, it's going to make you up in the search. Uh, for example, if you if you put a, a famous word or a famous name, you're going to have the advantage. Uh, the more you put tags, the more you put keywords, people will find your videos easier. But if you don't... Uh, if you don't uh, feel this uh, this uh, this uh, this part, yeah, people we will gonna have to have a hard time to find your videos. That's why it's very important. There are different key elements you have to take in consideration. You have to 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 have um, a bunch of subject. Uh, you plan your your week. You have to have, for example, uh, let's say two video or five video a day. So in advance, you, pre you 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 know you have to make. Did you just say make five videos a day? For example, it can be two, but the more you are consistent in the delivery of video, the more you're gonna have you're gonna you're gonna end up with a lot of subscriber, a lot of engagement. Engagement is very important. What is engagement? It's when people like your video. It's when people share your video, and it's when people um, um, subscribe. It's it's. Uh, as important as the keywords, as the, the the content. So you have first, you have to have uh, a lot of video uh, each and every day. You have to. Uh, that's that's the reason why uh, every time. Wait, uh, wait, listen, 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 listen. Okay. I, I I want us to be able to give. I want us to be able to give advice, but I mm -hmm. want us to be able to give good advice. Mm -hmm. And and telling telling a new YouTuber that he has to have a lot of videos each and every day is not good advice. In fact, the biggest YouTubers don't make videos every day. Uh, Mr. Beast, you don't see Mr. Beast making videos every day. He yeah. a lot of a lot of big YouTubers only make videos once a week, right? Yeah. But so, at, go ahead. At, yes, it's at the end when they start, they have to put in the work so they can uh, be recommended by YouTube, so they can be found by uh, other people who look at the video, and in the long run. They, they can end up making less video because they start doing much in the beginning. That's that's very important. I mean, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I hear you. But just telling someone that they have to put out multiple videos a day when they're a new YouTuber, I don't, I don't think that's very helpful just because you, you, you're so slow even making one video. Yeah, but uh, for example, there's a new... Uh, I, I think it would be better if you made, you know, maybe three videos a week no and it's low it is low but you're starting off yes you, but do you have a youtube channel not yet not yet okay so you're kind of you're talking from a theoretical sense no because this <laughs> have have you tried to make a video before uh, yes the, uh, i do editing i do uh, i mean i do video this is uh, what i'm talking about this is what i do for other people that's why i'm i'm telling all this Okay, you do it for other people, so you're a professional. But can you relate to someone who is not a professional? Yes. To try to do it. So how? All right. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there are new YouTubers who can do, you know, three videos a day. Maybe it's just me. At least two. At least two. Okay. The the key is to to plan to plan your video uh, a week ahead and mm -hmm. uh, work. Uh, 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 you know how how should uh, how should you Jackson work? Yes, but O'Shea Duke Jackson has been on YouTube for like five years. Yeah, this is called YouTube Elementary. This mm -hmm. is this is not YouTube, you know, University. We're talking to the new YouTubers. It's it's hard to tell mm -hmm. a new YouTuber to be like O'Shea Duke Jackson. He puts out seven videos a day. Yes, but will putting out seven videos a day work? Absolutely, I agree with you, Rudy. We just need to remember who our audience is for this stream. But I, I, I think uh, I take that in consideration because, um, I mean, I think <laughs> I, I I could be wrong, but I think 
it's deep it, it depends it depends if it is just a hobby okay you can put a two or three video a week but if you consider this to be a business it will be something that's going to make you earn money i'm sorry to tell you that but you have to put in work but for example you you have gold between your hands you can you can for example you can use uh, all your your clients uh, who come to you and who have businesses and you can make for example for it is if you want to earn money you can for example make sponsoring you can make some uh, uh, you can make some ad you can make some video you have some long stream of two or three or four hours um every seven minutes on a video uh you can make some uh, some uh, some some advertisement you can uh, you can make some advertisements for your colleagues who are uh, other attorneys and you can uh, recommend them on you on the channel and they can make you earn some money and all their crown will come to your video to see what you do but there are so many ways to make some money and to gain some subscribers but the key is to put some uh, some some content uh the more often you can do it that's true like the most you get i agree with that like as much as you can even like, because a lot of you all right i mean most of us have jobs already right and to to put three videos a day if you want them to be quality videos you can't do it if you have a full-time job what you're going to need to do, what you're going to need to do hopefully is i mean i guess you can there are pe rare people who have done it mtr does it right i think he puts out two videos a day uh very little editing these are reaction uh, reaction videos are quick right because you just play a video and you talk over it. There's not a lot of editing. So one of the things I actually like about uh, Pink Book Lessons, because she does reaction videos too, but she she you know she inserts she inserts some editing in there. All right, I, I really like her content. Um, but go ahead. I, I, I mean, um, I can if um, if some people want, I can help them uh, without charging them because. If, if it's just for helping, helping people, I can do that for them. That's not a problem for me. I know it requires some time because editing is the, 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 worst, yes. <laughs> the worst part of, of the work. You're but, exactly right. But, but uh, I, can, I can help you. I can other, uh, other brother and sister to, to, to launch their, their, their YouTube channel. Just for the beginning, that's not a problem for me. But the more people <laughs> that will come to get my help, the more it will take me time to do it. But I can help people. I can make some uh, some uh, uh, some intros. I can make some things like this. For example, you you can make some uh, some uh, some video, some short video within your live stream. Um, just for uh, for an advertisement, it may it will make you earn money. And there, there's, uh, there's many ways to, to, to gain subscriber to. Yes, I agree with that. There's a lot of ways. You're absolutely right. There are a lot of ways to get subscribers on YouTube. You should drop your email, uh, your email address in the chat if people want to, to get in contact with you for editing, right? Maybe, maybe you could help them out uh, a lot. So that, that would be a big help because you're absolutely right. Usually editing is the stumbling block. Uh, which is why, uh, for me, which is why live streams are a game changer for me, because I don't have to edit these goddamn things. Okay, right. I, I um, let me tell you something. I can do. If, let's take a six. I can do a six-hour live stream. Anybody want to guess how long it takes me to do six hours? Do you guys know how long it takes me to do a twelve-minute video? <laughs> it, it takes me six hours to do a six-hour live stream. It takes me 12 hours to do a 12 minute video, 12 hours in all. It's like an hour a minute for me. If you include everything, if you include the thumbnail, the concept, writing the script, editing, shooting with the, I got teleprompters. Guys, I was serious about this. This is crazy. Like uh, the doing a standalone video for me took so long. So okay. these live streams for me are, are, are a godsend because I don't have to edit them. And I think a lot of the reaction videos, those are those require very little editing. But you need to be let me be honest with you about these reaction videos, because Lana says they're super popular and she's absolutely right. There's a problem with reaction videos. A lot of times you're going to get strikes. Mm. 
you're going to get copyright strikes and you're only allowed three of those within a certain time period and if you get three copyright strikes they're deleting your whole channel so reaction videos are a double-edged sword sometimes right but uh I, I i agree with you rudy that there's a lot of ways there's a lot of ways to um to make money on on youtube so uh thank you so much for coming on do you have any closing remarks um <laughs> no 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 perfect well listen thank you so much again and please drop your email address in the chat so that people can contact you okay okay all right perfect thank you so okay. much rudy Really appreciate that. We got someone who knows about editing coming on to the channel because editing was killing me. It was absolutely killing me. So I love these damn live streams, man, because let me tell you something, I don't edit anything. People are like, oh, lead attorney, how can you do a seven hour live stream? How can you do an eight hour live stream? You guys don't know where I came from, man. I came from, <laughs> I came from, I came from spending 15 hours on one video, 15 hours. A video, by the way, that no one would watch. <laughs> so shout out to these live streams. All right, we got It's Me in the house. It's me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What's up, lead attorney? Perfect. What's up with you? How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Is my lighting okay or do I need to increase it? It's a little dark, to be honest, but, you know, okay. however, however you want to do it. Yeah, I straighten it out. Yeah, okay. that's that's a lot better. Okay. That looks Yeah, that looks All perfect. Right. That looks hey, perfect. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually Dr. Yasapa. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Do you, yeah. you have a YouTube channel? I do. Zion Law School. Dot, uh, well, YouTube Zion Law School. And Zion. then I have another one, which is Dr. Yasapa TV, but they're both new. Oh, okay. Excellent. What are your channels about? Uh, well, Zion Law School, I actually... Let me see, how can I, how can I uh, put, I teach biblical Hebrew, uh -huh. but it's not religion. If you can, okay. if people can get their mind around that. That's pretty deep. So, biblical, biblical, uh, yeah. Biblical bibl Hebrew is called Ibriath, different from modern Hebrew. So okay. basically what I'm trying to do is teach our people who they are in terms of nationality before the American conquest, before all of that, going back anciently uh, to the house of Yasharala, they say Israel these days, right, or Israelites. So I teach the original language, but my, my mission really, lead attorney, is to free our people's minds from religious dogma and belief and to bring them back into natural law, uh, lawful principles, things of that sort. So to break us free mentally, Yes, that, that's, that's what I do, man. It's a lot of enslavement, right? A lot yeah, of enslavement in our country. It's all in, in, it's all yeah. in and it's all in language. I'm sure you know, as a lawyer, that the grammar is really important, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, but basically, that's what I do. I write a lot of books, and I give lessons. So, like for example, I looked at some topic that's really got our people's mind. Uh, for example, this idea of burning in hell mm -hmm. or, or serving some external deity. And so I'll take them to the original documents, right, in the original language, and I'll show them what's actually written there in the Ibriad as opposed to what's written in the English. And they're usually different. Mm. You see what I mean? So you realize yeah. when you see this stuff, you realize you've been had. <laughs> right, right. No, that's that's deep. That's deep right there. And you got two channels. Do you put out, how often do you put out content? Oh, man, I need to do a better job. But I, I spend my days writing books. Like I, oh, I have okay. a dictionary. I have uh, all kinds of books that I've written uh, on the, on the uh, Ivory Act language. So I put out a video man every 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 now and then but i'm trying yeah. to get it to like every day and yeah twice a day but it's really difficult because i'm you know when you're writing books you know yeah. the study and it's just tough man yeah i can put out a video every day for about a three-day stretch and then i fall <laughs> off Right. And there's yeah, and nothing. All there's, my videos, all my videos, they won't, they, they, they go very long. Yeah. 
Yeah. How many subscribers do you have right now? Very few. I only have like uh, maybe 640. 640. That's good, though. How long have you been on YouTube? Well, I've had the channel, I think, maybe two years, but I rarely use it. Okay. Yeah. So we see what happens when you rarely use a channel, right? We are, this is why I showed you guys. This is this is my pain. Let's laugh at my pain. This is what happens when you rarely use your channel. You go to zero. You go right here. You yeah. see every guys, let me show you how to read these marks. These little marks, these mean these are pieces of content. So I was putting out pieces of content and then I stopped putting out content and it went from here to this zero. And then these little marks, look, there's a couple of more content and it shot back up. So if you are not consistent, if you don't put out content, this is what's going to happen to you. And we all need to know this as YouTubers, like you, your channel will get punished viciously. They, the YouTube does not care what you did. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, but you're, you're so right, man, when you were talking about, uh, adding the um, mainstream type mm -hmm. of content. That's why I did the Dr. Yasaka TV. Mm. I, I plan on uh, doing sports and, you know, a lot of other things to uh, get subscribers. And then if they want what I do, which is the Ivory app, they can get it. But when you just talk this kind of stuff, there's very, very few people. Correct. <laughs> you know, Correct. Are going to come. Yeah, right. when you talk about biblical Hebrew, I mean, you're talking to a very select audience. Yeah, but when they come, they're really committed. Correct, that's true. I have a great niche market. It's just, it's so hard to get people's attention. Facts. You know? But oh, you yours. know what could happen? You're in a really, really good place. If you, and I'm not trying to put, put work on you, but if you could put together like a... Uh, a group or mastermind of people like me and yourself who are trying to build and who are committed. Like I left medicine. I left medicine to, to actually do this. Wow. Okay. You're so, like the lock picking lawyer. He just, he, he left, he left law and just started picking locks and now he has a million subscribers. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have to, you have to do what, you know, what, what your heart tells you to do. Correct. But if you could use your, your platform to put together like a mastermind group of uh, uh, people who are really serious about doing this, mm -hmm. um, it's extremely helpful. It would be extremely helpful to, to be able to bounce ideas, to enter, what, what did you call it earlier? Collaborate or a collab? Yeah, like a collaboration or something like that. Yeah, to be able to do a collaboration. Mm -hmm. To be able to do affiliate marketing together, like for example, if if I'm on with you, we have some arrangement. When people buy my stuff, you know, some of it goes or whatever book, some of it goes to you. You know, we form like a a market or a community, which yeah, I don't well, think that exists right now. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. This is like my third or fourth video about YouTube Elementary, and I yeah. just have people on. I you I'm not sure how, how much you've known how how, how how long you follow me, but I've 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 brought on like a I've tried to help out a lot of people. I've tried to uh, collaborate with a lot of people, and I do this because O'Shea Duke Jackson collaborated with me, and I saw how much of a benefit it was to my channel. So what I try to do is I try to give back. So there have been like maybe ten uh, um, black YouTubers that I've really tried to put on. Uh, so I'm 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 kind of doing what you're doing, what you're talking about already, but in a in a much less formal, in a much yeah. less formal way. But maybe maybe a mastermind. I don't know. That word is just so loaded these days, right? Because every yeah. when I hear mastermind, I think of scam, <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, I, I don't I don't know about that. It, but uh, it, it could be like a community or 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 a team, you know? That yeah. Team, uh, if, if 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 you're open to it, I mean, I would I would be more than willing to uh, to help do it if 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 we can work together. Um, you know. Yeah, I have to think about that because I don't. I mean, I'm old. Like I started a Discord channel. Go to the go to anybody. Go to the Discord channel of the lead attorney, and it is empty. Like I set it up, and I've never been. I don't know what the hell's in there. 
You know, people talk about me so bad. People could probably go in. I don't. I don't know how it works. I, I don't know how any of this stuff works, guys. I barely know how YouTube works. So uh, your point is well taken. I think it's a good idea, but the, also your statement about putting more work on me. You didn't want to do that. I I, I, I heard that because I was like, man, this sounds like more work, right? Uh, Either way, uh, lead attorney, you're going to have to uh, do more. For example, I found out about uh, internet marketing. Have you have you heard of? of that it's a it, whole technological thing that yeah. you have to learn yeah no i don't i don't I, I need a social media manager i just need somebody that i can pay and then they start up a facebook and they do my instagram and they do my discord because i can't do it all it's hard for one man to do it all yeah i tried that already it didn't work out for me about hiring a social media manager yeah why why do you think that why didn't it work out uh why I didn't get the uh, the commitment that I expected, nor the results. But uh, you know, how did you find how did you find your social media manager? Through word of mouth. So you well, that's a that's if a I great way to a professional. It was somebody who was familiar with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I I don't know like a professional social media marketing, but for do you, do, you, do you mind do you mind me asking how much you were paying for that? Actually, I didn't have to pay for it. Oh, well, so, guys! <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, guys! No, no, no. Listen, no. wait, wait, wait! Come on, come on! You know, you or get no, what you pay no. for. Not in all, not in all cases. Not in all. Listen, okay, listen, 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 listen. Let, let me back up because I always reference this about O'Shea Duke Jackson. Yeah. O'Shea Duke, <laughs> O'Shea Duke Jackson uh, came out with a video. It was a pretty. It was a scathing video. Scathing is too hard a word, but it was a hardcore video. Yeah. That's why I put him in. Like he's got the toughness. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not pussyfooting around with black men anymore. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I get I get invitations all my all the time in my inbox saying, "Hey, let me collab with you. Let me collab with you." And mm -hmm. I've only been on YouTube a year and a half. O'Shea's mm -hmm. been on for many, many years. And he has people like me who are constantly shouting him out saying, hey, he's helped my channel out so much. He's helped my channel out so much. So now he's, you know, imagine his inbox of black men saying, oh, let me get on your channel. Let me get on your channel. But you know what they don't do? And, this is, and he's so he's so upset about it. He said he's, 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 cut, he's cut it off. He said, I'm not helping anybody anymore unless it's a very special case because we always go to him empty handed. Like we always oh, go to him. We remember oh, finish. Okay. Go, we always go to him, and we don't we don't bring him any value, right? Yeah. And so when you were talking about the social media manager, I was very interested because I kind of need one myself. And so you were saying that you didn't get what you thought you should have gotten, but then you didn't pay him any money, right? Because I don't pay. I don't pay unless I see performance. That's the way I do business. Because I, so, so for example, with me, people can come to my class, they can take it for free for two weeks, for one month, you know, whatever the case might be until they feel like they have no risk and they're willing and able to pay. That's the way I do business. I don't charge up front. I take the risk. So because I know what I do is excellent, outstanding. So for me, if I'm going to do business with somebody, I expect the same thing in return. Well, so when, let's say let's say you were getting a divorce and your well, divorce. I would, I would never get married. <laughs> this is that's called a hypothetical. Life. Sorry, this is called a hypothetical. It's not real life. All right. Let's say you were going to get married or you were going to get divorced and your divorce was going to cost 50000 Do you want me? You come to my office to retain me. Do you want me to do your divorce for free until you see results? I know that's a different story. That's well, different. that's what he thought. Like, that's the social media manager. Social media, like, pay me first and then I will get you results. How do you want the free okay. work? Okay, lead attorney. Let me now. This is not me making this stuff up. Uh huh. There's a principle in marketing you never pay for marketing, you only pay for results. If yeah. you go to a, if you go to a, a doctor's office, do you know until you well once you get well is that when you pay the doctor or do you pay the doctor in, when you go in, in some countries yes 
in some countries yes you pay you <laughs> okay pay. you pay you you pay when you're fixed up all right all you right pay, okay you, you pay as you're healthy right? <laughs> because the doctor is supposed to keep you healthy it's only different from what you're used to oh maybe you're right maybe you're right i live overseas i live overseas mm -hmm. i lived overseas since 2005. I hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I listen. Doctors can do things in a number of different ways in a number of different cultures. So yeah, if, if they, marketing, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying if, if, if there are some doctors in other countries that you don't have to pay them for three years until you're better, then, then that's fine. You know, I, I wish doctors worked like I mean, that here. You, know, you pay while you're healthy. You pay while you're healthy. If, if you, I'm healthy, then why the hell do I need the doctor? Why don't I just eat right and go to the gym? Well, see, that's a, that's the, that's the that's the the paradigm. See, your paradigm in the U.S. they pay for what billing billing is based upon illness and then how severe or how complicated it is to manage the patient. The more complicated, the more you get paid, right? But if there are some countries where it's completely different. The value or the premium is on the state of health. So if I'm your doctor and you're coming to me, right, and I'm keeping you healthy, you can pay for that. What right. do you mean you're keeping me healthy? I'm just eating right and exercising. I'm going to the gym. I'm taking my walks. Why would I pay a doctor? <laughs> Depends on how old you are, right? Depends on how old you are. All right. All right. All right. I, 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 I hear what you're saying. I hear so what you're saying. If you eat the traditional American diet, you'll be coming into some health problems soon. Right? We're but all going to come in. We're all going to living on this life. We're all going to come into health problems, right? No, that's 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 actually. I know this show is not about that, but that's not true. Oh, it's not true. So if you're 120 years old, you're not going to go into some health problems. Well, that's something different. And there's no, a, you know, you there's, just there's, said it's not true. Wait, 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 wait. End of life. There's a exactly. Life. That's life. Life means that at some point you're going to get unhealthy and at some point you're going to die. That's life. Well, no, that's life. But that's different from having congestive heart failure due to your diet. I didn't say anything heart about heart congestive diet. heart failure. You added that. I just, what I said was at some point you were going to become unhealthy. You said that's not true, but it is yeah, true. It's because it's not. So if you're 120 years old, then you're healthy. You can be 80 years old and be as healthy. That's as not what I is. asked you. I said 120. You can be 120 and be healthy for right. 120. All right. All right. All right. Yes, you can. Okay. It's just different from what you're used to. It's not <laughs> false. You have to understand. You have to understand how the how the human body works. Yes, we 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 are programmed to die. Of course. With with just like a car, it's going to have normal wear and tear, right? Yeah, and when you're that's 120 how, years old, you got a lot of wear and tear. Yeah, but that's very different. All right, it's different. I, okay, okay, it's it's all different. It's all different. The point of it is, you hire you want you 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 are not going to pay for a social media manager. You want to see the work first. All right, I got there's you. A, I got you. There's a principle in marketing. There's a principle in marketing that says pay for results. That that's just it, and I didn't make it up. Yeah. If well, go to an attorney, your... go to a doctor, go to JT, go to an accountant, go to any professional and try to get them to work for free until you get your results and see how not, that works that's out. Not marketing. That's not marketing. Marketing is not being an attorney. Marketing. You don't think there are marketing an professionals? Mark, no, wait. The, the work that an attorney does is different from the work that a marketer does. When you pay an attorney, you're, you're getting legal services, right, for some problem. When you pay someone for marketing, you're paying for leads <clears throat> that are high quality that you can convert to sales, right? So, for example, if uh, if if I hire a uh, let's say you hire a doctor, and then the doctor doesn't do what he is supposed to do, well, now you have a complaint and a case, right? Because yeah. Didn't, right. So, same with marketing. You can hire marketing people, and they're they're not able to perform, and that's most of the time. That's why the principle is never pay for marketing, pay for results. And there are people who, who, who've made millions using that principle. So, for example, there's one guy, he had a relationship. Well, he started a relationship with a radio station. Have you heard of uh, Icy Hot? The Where you rub on? Yeah, yeah. Icy Hot. Yeah. He had a couple 
guys bought that company. He approached radio stations. He didn't pay them a penny, but what he offered them was the ability to participate in whatever sales came in if they promoted. So he didn't pay, but they got paid for results, right? So they sold something and they got a commission. On yeah, it's sales. just a commission. That's that's okay. All right. I, I see what you're saying. People are asking me to move on, but I, I hear where you're coming from. I hear where you're coming from. And I think your idea about setting up some type of uh, group or mastermind, or, I hate that word. I just, it, it just sounds so, it sounds so sketchy, but your point is well taken. Your point is well taken. If, if, if I, if I do, find the time to do that. I will, I will definitely reach out to you. So thank you so much. And again, shout your channel out, your, your channels. Zion Law School on YouTube and Dr. Yasapa TV on YouTube. Perfect. I appreciate the lead attorney. Thank you so much. No problem. And you can uh, drop your uh, the links to your, your, your channels in the chat. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Thank you guys. So thank you. All right. We got Miss B Finesse in the house. Miss B Finesse. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 How are you? I'm doing pretty good, lead attorney. I was out on vacation just like you. So I'm trying to figure this thing out, <laughs> listening <laughs> to the information. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Uh, so shout your channel out because you have a channel too. Is that right? Yeah, I do. And thanks for the comments on the channel. Um, it is Millennial Finesse Mindset. And what I'm trying to do with the channel is I'm trying to give my millennial mindset. I'm trying to take my expert experience and expertise, teaching, counseling, uh, working with different people and um, just experiencing things from my millennial mindset. And I'm using that kind of commentating on different topics going on. I um, mean, it's pretty neat. I try to find stuff that's not in mainstream news and bring that out so people can see kind of what's going on in the world. And I get my, my mindset on that. Interesting. Interesting. Do you have any uh, tips for any new YouTubers? What do you think about this? Well, I'm so new. Like I'm literally like newborn. Um, <laughs> I know <laughs> just like you said, the collabs work really good. So if you can yes. get on somebody's channel, yes. um, and once you get on, stay consistent. I think it works pretty well. I know with me, I I started off maybe like doing one video every, I don't know, two or three weeks because I was so new to YouTube. I didn't know like what I was supposed to do. I didn't um, really reach out or talk to anybody because I already had another job and a family and everything. But um, just getting used to being on the camera and doing videos helped me a lot. So I'm trying to just get more content out because like you were saying, it just becomes easier for me when I do more videos because I actually like doing it. I don't feel like it's a burden. I don't feel like it's something that like I have to do. I enjoy talking about the topics that I'm talking about. And mm -hmm. like you said, I, I try to pull a little bit of what's going on in trending, what's going on in news. I try to pull a little bit and then kind of give my um, view, uh, my background, my understanding, even looking at the psychology of it uh, because that's what my major is in. Um, and I like to kind of give that edge to it. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm enjoying the, the process. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm trying to see how to kind of engage in social media cause I'm not on social media. So like I had to make up Instagram and make up, uh, the Twitter and all those other things. So I'm just like you said, I'm trying to learn how to use everything on social media cause I'm totally new to social media. Yes. It's, it's, it's an uphill battle. When did you start your channel? Um, really? May. In May I, of this year? In May. I actually, yep. I just started oh, okay. it. I just excellent. started it. Yeah, excellent. Just started excellent. It. And, I um, wish we had uh I wish we had rebuilding Black Wall Street on because he knows how to use uh Google ads. And oh, he started he I don't know about it either, but he started <laughs> his channel and he's already reached uh the requirements to get monetized and he did it in less than a month. So right? you yeah, need so, to, mm -hmm, go ahead. So what so what is he? I, I really don't really understand how it works with the hours and the monetization. So is he I see you guys live stream. I still gotta figure out how to do that. But um is he actually when you said he was doing ad, is he paying for for ads to pop up or is he putting ads in his stream? I don't really know. Yeah, he, what he he's doing. paying for ads that uh that appear on my channel. He's paying for ads that appear on Kevin Samuel's channel. He Ooh. selects individual channels and pays Google to put ads on them for his channel. And oh, so if cool. someone is, let's say someone's watching my live stream or someone's watching my videos, 
his ad will pop up and then they'll oh. click on his ad and then oh, they'll okay. find out about his channel. Now, if you put ads on my channel, you're only going to get a little bit of help, right? But he also puts ads on Kevin Samuel's channel. And so you can just imagine how much traffic Ooh. he gets from that. And so, so guys, it's not, it's not like natural. It's not like he's just on the channel and these people are coming because YouTube's sending them. It's because he's he has ads and he has people. Correct. Coming. Oh, Correct. See, like he's a, a he's doing it in a business type of way. He's not doing it like me mm -hmm. where it's going to take. It took me to the, the natural way you say the organic way. That's yeah. how I did it. But it took me eight months. It took him like 20 mm -hmm. days to do wow. it in the business way. Right. Yeah. So I, if I would have been smart, I could have saved me over half a year, but I didn't know how to do it like he did. it. And see, that's the trick you're talking about. I had I, how would I know that? I have no clue about all that, especially like, you know, when you're working another job and you have a family and all that type of stuff, you don't know that type of stuff. So exactly. I didn't know anything about that. I just I thought you just either. naturally wait. Yeah. And um, uh, Nikita says, I bet that costs a lot of money. I don't think it did. I think Google ads are pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap. Uh, and you can you can decide how much you want to pay. So if mm. you want to pay, you know, three dollars a day, you can set up a campaign where you pay three dollars a day. Or if you want to set up for five dollars a day, there are some companies who will set up a ten thousand dollar a day campaign. Right. Mm. But okay. you decide how much you want to pay and then you get the results based off that. Right. Okay. So um, uh, shout out to Rebuilding Black Wall Street. He's he's killing it. And uh, yeah. uh, AT, AT Alien Stan says Facebook and IG ads. Yeah, I'm sure they kind of all work the same way. Mm. They all work okay. that same way. So you might want to reach out to Rebuilding Black Wall Street when he has his, his live on and jump in there and, and okay. ask him how to how to set those up. I wish I would have done it. It would have saved me so much time. Oh, now okay. I'm kind of rocking and rolling, so I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't want to go through the hassle of learning how to do it. I don't think it's that complicated, but you know, I don't want to do it. But yeah. if I was just starting out, and now, guys, if you don't know, if you don't have a YouTube channel and you want to get monetized, you need 1,000 subscribers. Uh, but that's not enough. You also need 4,000 watch hours, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, with live streams, you can get your watch hours so quickly, so so quickly. And with collaborations, you can get your your um, your subscribers really quickly. Like I did, I did a collaboration, not a collaboration, but I had uh, I had Rush Ribbons come up. Y'all y'all know Rush Ribbons. Shout out to Rush. She had mm -hmm. two subscribers. She came up and she killed it. The next day, she had over five hundred in a twenty four hour period, and now she has over seven hundred. Right. Wow. So the and the collaboration with O'Shea, you know, it got me 500 and then it got me like a thousand. I did another one and it got me like 700. So uh, what is uh, what is Mr. Sue say? she bad at us? Yeah, we went over there. We went. Shout out to Rush, man. We went over there and blew up her damn stream. <laughs> shout out to Rush. But we know we, we love her. We love her. You know, Rush is like yeah. she's nice. You know, she ain't really got the toughness like some other people. But uh, what happened? You just said she's mad at you. What what happened? She's mad at us. We went over there. We were teasing, and you know she she. Some people are just sensitive, and it's a good thing. You know, if you want a woman, uh, I saw what was it? A uh, uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson. He came out with a video today talking about it was some woman, and she was talking about oh, you know, if you want to date other oh. cultures, if you want to date, go down to the Dominicans and the Republican, uh, the Dominican Republic, and you want to go down to mm -hmm. get you a Colombian, and you want to go down and get you a Brazilian, then go, you know, because you're not strong enough to, to handle, you know, a black woman's mouth and you're not this and you're not that. It's like, you know, and, and O'Shea was like, you know, who wants, what man wants to be with a woman that is as tough as you, right? right? It, a man want to be with someone who's sensitive and someone who's right. caring, right? Well, right. Rush is sensitive and she's caring. And we went down there. We went a little bit too hard, right? We went a little <laughs> bit too hard. So shout out to Rush. She got a little mad at us. But it's all love. We were just teasing, you know. It's all, you know, but it's all fun when you're teasing it on somebody. Someone says something, you're like, oh, you know that? You didn't, you didn't really like that. But we, we love Rush. I and, have a question, though. I have a yeah. question. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about streaming, are you guys talking about streaming on YouTube? Um, or are you talking about just using another streaming service? Because don't you have to have so many um, watch hours to stream, like, which what are you guys talking about when you're streaming? Well, I don't I know. Don't do that. I don't know I about don't, streaming. This is one of the things that I was asking Darius and Trash Can Wave yesterday. 
because I don't know how Rush streams. I think she streams directly through YouTube. I don't know. Okay. I have streamed through two services. I have streamed through Ecamm, which was awesome. Ecamm is the best if you just want to set up your video. But if you want to have people on, if you want to have guests on, then mm -hmm. I started. I started. I also have a a, a year long membership with uh, Streamyard. And that's the what this is what I'm on right now. Streamyard. Streamyard is so easy. You know, if you want to be technical, probably OBS is probably the best. Mm -hmm. But in terms of ease, man, everybody uses Streamyard because it's just so so easy. Okay. So uh, I what I do is I set up a, a um, kind of like a Zoom meeting or a, or a, a stream through Streamyard, and then I just press go live, and then here we are. Right okay. here we are. So it's super, super easy. So I would absolutely recommend uh, StreamYard. And okay. so, but I think, I don't think Rush uses StreamYard. I think she might just go directly through, uh, directly mm -hmm. through YouTube. Yeah. Shout out to mm -hmm. attending physician says I stream with OBS and this makes sense since it's an attending physician. Cause you gotta be smart to use OBS. I, I've heard that I downloaded it and I started to fickle with it and it wasn't doing what I wanted to. So I started looking at uh, tutorials and I was like, hell no, <laughs> just give it to hell. No, just give me a uh, stream yard. Cause it's so easy. Having said that, once you right. know how to use OBS, you can do so much more than you can with stream yard. Stream yard is super basic, mm -hmm. but okay. you know, I use stream yard and it gets me easily over $10,000 a month in YouTube. So I don't know if I use OBS, if it would really get me any more. I don't think it would. Okay. But I think OBS is probably better, but it just takes so long to really learn and it's complicated. It's a little finicky. There's nothing okay. finicky about StreamYard. It is so easy. So okay. anybody who wants to do streaming, uh, live streaming, if you don't want to go through the rigmarole of doing videos, I would highly recommend uh, StreamYard. It's not free, even though they do have a free, uh, they have a free service, but they put the logo, uh, it's whatever. You can. I just bought the year, and it's awesome. I have no complaints at all. Attending physician says OBS is free, and that's true. But I think he will agree that it's much. It's it's much more complicated. I do want to give a shout out to like the people in um that are on your channel though, because it is like a real community. Yes. Uh, I was telling my, my family, my husband about that. I was like, it's like when you go on, like I know a lot of their names now, and like they come on my channel, especially blind guy, his wife, their life. They're awesome. Like there's they a lot are of people. Awesome. Yes. JP the matriarch. Just, uh, there's a lot of people. So you guys like JP the matriarch. Is, yes. Yeah. This is like a community for real. And I do appreciate that because, and even Rush Ribbon, she came in and she was um, giving me some information. Um, so, that is what I do like about it. I like coming on. It's like another group of friends and family. Like everybody um, does help each other. And I do like that. Like even the small channels and big ones, I do like that we do facilitate that information to each other. And it's cool to see each other grow fast or grow slow. Like I do like that this is like a real community. And um, I always try to stop in and go to other people's channels and watch and just, you know, keep trying to produce my content and learning how to get uh, in that algorithm so it can be seen. And, but yeah, I do like that. It's cool that you started this, to be honest. Like, it's really cool that, that you have a steady community, even if it does drop. So what you do have a steady group of people that are consistent with you. And to me, that's what matters. I'd rather have the consistent people than the ones that waver. So yeah. I do well, thank you so you. much for that. I think it was Tim Howard or somebody said, I'm trying to be the, the O'Shea 2.0. And that made me fun. That made me chuckle a little bit, but in a, in a small part, I can't compare myself to O'Shea cause it's, you know, O'Shea is the OG, but I do, I do want to follow in the path that he set. I do want to bring people on and expose them because I saw how he exposed my channel, how he exposed me and the benefit that I got out of it. So I, yeah. I love to do it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I do want to give you a shout out too. <laughs> Oh, I was you. looking when I was on vacation, I was looking at some of your old videos because I started like in the middle going forward when I first met you like a month ago. That's and um, the, your video was awesome. I watched you like your diction and how you were talking. Like I thought you were a news broadcast. <laughs> so <all laughs> I know it was that I put that first, the first two videos. They were really good. But like, that's you, bad though. Editing. No, yeah. because now I'm relaxed. I talk to you guys. I have fun. I'm just chilling. Right. Guys, go back and watch my first videos. <laughs> I'm all, 
I am the lead attorney. And, oh, it's so terrible. It is. So, it took me a while to get comfortable with you guys. Yeah. It took me so long. But thank you for saying that. But whenever, whenever anybody says, "Oh yeah, I saw your last videos," I'm just like, "Oh man, they were they were bad." But I do leave them up there. Not I would take them down to be honest. But I, I do want them up there so that other people can see how bad you can be to start off. You can really be bad. And it just where you start doesn't, it doesn't have any reflection on where, where you can end up. Right. But uh, I, I really appreciate you uh, saying that. So yeah, go hit up Rush and tell Rush that we're sorry. And uh, oh, we, we, we apologize. You and, guys uh, got up under skin that bad? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Wow. It was bad. But okay. you know, it's because what did, uh, what does Tim Howard say? He says, masculine men want feminine women and feminine women are a blessing However, if you're feminine and you're sensitive, you know, maybe, you know, you can get your feelings hurt sometimes. But that, and that's OK. That's OK. You know, we'll apologize <laughs> and move on. And, you know, we all know what's in our heart. Right. When, when somebody comes at me, you know, I don't I don't I don't I don't take it the wrong way. I I, I know how it is. I know how it is. But um, yeah. but yeah. So thank you so much for coming up, Miss B. Finesse. Please drop a, uh, a link to your channel so that everybody okay. can go and check you out. Perfect. All, All right, guys. Right. Have a good day. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Shout out to Miss B Finesse. And I think she's so right that uh, I'm going to take so many people out of order because I need I need to look at somebody else. We got my man El Guapo. Uh, another just talking about what what Miss B Finesse was talking about. Like we got a community over here. Right. Just really trying to help. Uh, really trying to help each other out. I see uh, my vivid life. She is everywhere. She's always supporting a uh, blind guy, his wife, their life. And they are always supporting rebuilding Black Wall Street. Like we're always supporting each other. And it's just so beautiful. I'm not sure there's a, I'm sure there are other communities like this on YouTube. I don't, I don't you know, YouTube's so huge, but you know, in this sector, we are really killing it. We are really supporting each other to help get our numbers up, help get our information up, our subscribers up, our watch hours up. We are really doing it. And I want, um, I really want Rebuilding Black Wall Street to do a video or a live stream on how to use these Google ads because that can help all of us. That can help all of us. I don't know. I don't know how to use them. And he knows about it. Uh, all right. Let me take. Uh, give me one second. Let me take Dollar Will. Dollar Will, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. What's up, brother? Perfect. How are you doing? Oh, good, good. Congratulations on your uh, success. I saw you. When you uh, first came on O'Shea, you know, O'Shea been on these streets for a long time. We talking even more than five years. So I think I had my channel up some sometime around my man. It's been almost five years with my channel and O'Shea was on longer than that. And uh, oh, so, wow. So you've had your channel for five over five years, five years. Yeah, but I'm not even monetizing. It, it was hurting my feelings so bad, man. I hid the daggone subscriber <laughs> count for myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hid it from me. I hid me for me. Yes, that's what you know is bad. And I've been there. I went yeah. through the whole thing of should I show my subscribers or not? You know, I had 17 subscribers. and I was like, I don't even want to look at this. You know, so I feel you. I yeah, so I hear people coming on here talking about how they how, you know, they complaining. Complaining is the word. Complaining that it took them two months to get a thousand. I'm like, you really don't know. <laughs> it's true. You are exactly you know? right. So but I think I it's think because people who are complaining like them, I have certainly complained numerous times. It's because we don't really know what rebuilding Black Wall Street knew. We didn't, we didn't, we don't know about these uh, YouTube ads or anything, because apparently, do, have you tried those ads, Dollar Will? Uh, no, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna really give that some deep thought uh, yes. now because I, I, and money works, man. Money talks. And, it does. And, you, know, you know, shout out, shout out to this brother that we had on uh, 20 minutes ago. When you the Dollar Will, you're so right. You're so right when you say money works. Because shout out to this brother that we had on 20 minutes ago, who was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I had a social media manager. And I say, well, how did it work out? Oh, I didn't. It didn't work out at all. You know, I didn't get the results that I wanted at all. And I was like, well, okay. You know, well, if you if you don't mind, how much did you pay him? Oh, I didn't pay him shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, if I if I got to like your size and I had a social media manager, I wouldn't necessarily expect them to increase my view count or subscriber count. I would expect them to give me more time to make the process more efficient for me. 
So it, I guess it, it would depend on what he expected. A social well, media my question is do. though, what can you expect at all when you come empty-handed? That's, That's my true. question. Because like what just what you just said, just what you said, Dollar Will is so true. You said money works, man. Well, what's the opposite? What if what, what if what is if money works? Then you know what does empty-handedness get you? Right. 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 And so uh, no, right. I just be a shout I mean, out that, to that, that shout out to that, that brother, but. Man. That kind of reminds me of, of a thing I kind of preach on my on my on my channel as it you know, as it exists or whatever. <laughs> that you know we confuse the the uh, the value of the thing with the price of the thing. You know. Yes, and that's what sometimes O'Shea when you was give so... people something for free, they think it's if they if it didn't cost them anything, it cost they them think anything. that that's the value of it. Yes, so you kind of have to charge people just so that they get their respect up for the absolutely. For the thing that you Absolutely. And it's so true. Guys, listen, I do consults. All right. I do consults and people call me and they have questions about their marriages or divorces. Right. And at first I was just doing uh, $75 an hour because I'm trying to help the people just like this whole damn stream. I'm just trying to give out information. So it's a 70 and I was, you know, my time is worth more than $75 an hour, but I would, I was just doing $75 an hour. Nobody booked. And then I was like, well, if nobody's booking, then you know, I'm going to put it at a really closer price. And I did $75 for half an hour. Then a few people started booking. So I said, okay. And then I started doing 125 for half an hour. And now even more people are booking right? because they're like, okay, well, maybe it has some, if it has some value to you, well, maybe it should, it could have some value to me. Right. And so, but people, O'Shea was so mad about this. People come to him empty handed and want all of this value and uh, just like you said if 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 you don't value it then other people aren't going to value it if you just give it away then other people are going to be like oh well i guess i can just take advantage because uh o'shea was putting out putting on hundreds of people he would put somebody on get them you know 500 subscribers and then two weeks later they'd be back hey put me on again i got something else to talk about and O'Shea's right. like, I'm in medical school. You think I just got time to sit down here for an hour, an hour and a half with you anytime you want to come on? Right. And you're offering, no, I mean, didn't offer anything. Right. And so, uh, and it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the, 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 our Dr. Hebrew guy. He's like, oh, I, I ain't paying until I see some results. It's like, well, how do you get anywhere? Right. Shout out to XO Natro Shaq. So I know I killed that. He said, empty handed for your business to grow, right? It's just like me. Show me, I'll buy anything. If you if you if, if you tell me if I have any inkling that you know out of this 300 page book, if there are five pages that will really help me, here's my twenty dollars. Right. If there are five pages in this goddamn book that'll help me, I have not read this book before I bought it, but I was like, there have to be five pages. Here's my twenty dollars. It's not like I'm like, no, 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 give me the book and let me read all the pages and then I'll decide whether I want to pay or not. That's not how it works, right? That's not how, at least in this culture, he was saying culturally it's different and fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, right? But uh, yeah, so Dollar Will, I would really, I would really, uh, I would really recommend that you hit up um, uh, Rebuilding Black Wall Street, hit up Marcus. It's, his channel name is Rebuilding Black Wall Street. He knows how to use these Google ads and he's yeah. getting great. Results, great yeah, I results. mean, even even looking back on it, I mean, the, the 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 greatest amount of success I've had, I have had have come from um, uh, like, you said, you know, collaborating with other people. And yeah. but it's got it can't, it's not it can't be just the fact that you're collaborating with someone that has a large uh, subscriber base. That's that doesn't help. It has to be some symmetry between what they talk about and what you're talking about on your channel. See, I can tell you've been on a long time. I can tell you've been on a long time because even when the 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 the, the, the medical Hebrew guy was talking, he was like, yeah, maybe we could do a collab or something. I was like, I don't know anything about medicine or Hebrew. <laughs> like, right, when, right. how would that collab work? You know, I'm supposed to be over here talking about, apparently, I'm supposed to be over here clout chasing, apparently. And you're over right. here talking about these deep, Philosophical issues. I'm not sure how that would uh, how that would work out. Uh, yeah, and so I've no. also mm -hmm. had some success going working on uh, collaborating with uh, channels as small as mine. 
um, or, or maybe just a little larger as opposed to reaching for the person with 30,000 or, or above, because at that lower level, both of y'all need each other and you can, you know, share each other's, uh, <laughs> yes. you know, small list and you can grow it organically with, with people. I'm talking about somebody that with a small, that's doing the same, a similar, uh, uh topic as you. Because now you're going to get that engagement. So my subscriber list is low, but uh, I think my engagement rate is pretty good because the people that uh, come back or that go uh, join my Patreon, where I offer a different service over there, that's that's where I get my, uh, I guess, my inspiration for uh, you know what I'm doing is, is, the, is the people who are paying on Patreon. And so now I look over every now and again, I say, you know, you really need to do something on that YouTube thing, you know, but YouTube, you really have to take it seriously, but it's a, it's a time issue. And my channel is uh, about trading. I teach technical analysis and, and this was like really um, right when uh, Bitcoin and all that stuff started taking off, but I've been in the game for, you know, decades, but, uh, but, you have to, and it's hard also to get to to give people what they need. You have to, you have to give them what they want, and then somehow piggyback what they need onto that. You know, and so it's like everybody's like got Bitcoin on the brain, and 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 as a as a trader, um, again, my channel I teach technical analysis, which is basically how to make sense of the squiggly price movements on us on the stock chart. Can I ask you is this? this and yes. I, I I know the answer, but I, there's a part of me that's that's gonna ask it anyway. If you ask me a technical analysis question, man, I'll get I'll get excited, man. I'm warning. That's my this thing. Is, this, this is gonna upset you. <laughs> All okay, right. come on with it. Tell, tell tell me you think it's garbage. I can come back and prove it. I just want to ask you. It's not. It's, Go for it. I just want to ask you: Is technical analysis bullshit? Absolutely not. It is superior to every other type of analysis that there is. And the primary method that people use is fundamental analysis. Technical analysis is fundam is superior to fundamental analysis. Fundamental okay. analysis. Okay, I don't want to get into I don't, I, I, I okay. know you can I know I know you can roll with it, but I just have I, I can roll I, with I, it. I know you can, can roll, roll with it. it. I know you can roll know. with it. Well, I mean, listen. But the, but but the uh -huh. best the best uh traders, if you want to play games with the word trader versus investor, that's a game too. Because okay. every time you buy a stock, you expect to make money. It doesn't matter whether you held it for five minutes or five years. Okay, so you can tell you can you can uh I mean that's a good distinction. Play games with your mind and call call a bad a bad trade an investment. I don't play those games. Okay, we you know I teach people to accept accept you know be accountable you know for yeah. the decision you made. And so the technical analysis helps you uh, show when because the the stocks themselves are also sub subjected to the law of supply and demand. So because there's a good logical fundamental reason to buy a thing, it may not be the right time right now because good stocks of, of the price of great companies fall too. Gotcha. Just Listen, y'all 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 can rent. tell this brother's deep. Y'all can tell this brother knows about stocks, knows about trading, knows about the market. So please go check him out, man. If Absolutely. you want to know about how this how these uh how these markets work, if you want to know all the ups and downs, if you want to know how to all, all the all the all the what is it the double bounce the double cap bounces and all this other stuff right that uh That's please right. go please go check out dollar dollar whip thank you so much dollar whip. and listen hit up uh hit up your boy uh rebuilding black wall street because mm -hmm. he yeah the, you you are i can just tell by talking to you you're an intelligent man and there's no reason why you should be on youtube for five years and you're not monetized yet all right so you're you're doing some things that are fundamentally wrong now <laughs> I am too. And I, I've been doing fundamentally things wrong since day one. In fact, that's that's how I started this whole damn stream, showing you a fundamental mistake that I made. Where And you I know, made the same mistake as you. I, yeah. I don't post enough. Exactly. Right. I, guys, if you are new, I, I showed you this stream. These are my views. You know, and I went, uh, you know, I was just posting and rocking and rolling. I was getting this day, you know, I got 15,000 views. This day I got 30,000 views in one day. This day I got probably 20,000, 27,000 views. This day I got about what, 40, 37,000 views. I was rocking and rolling. Here I went to Mexico and I didn't post and look what happened. My whole shit went to zero, right? Can you tell, can anybody tell when I got back from Mexico? 
That's right. Right here. Right. Wow. So uh, this was a lesson that I learned. My whole channel with the day up day with the zero, right? And this is just my views, but also this is my my watch time. Watch time doesn't really matter if you're monetized already, but you know YouTube takes a look at it. On this day, uh, people watch me for seven thousand hours, right? On this day, people watch me for like ten thousand. This day, people watch me for let's say fourteen thousand hours. This day, people watch me for eleven thousand hours. Can you tell when I went to Mexico? People watch me here for like 30 seconds, <laughs> for 30 seconds. This is what happened to my channel when I went to Mexico for two weeks. All right, let's take a look at this. These are my subscribers. Guys, I was rocking and rolling, man. I was getting, you know, 250 subscribers a day. This is a day, 500 subscribers a day. This day I got about, you know, 600, 600 675 subscribers a day. We, when I went to Mexico, I, you know, this day was probably like, 30, 30 subscribers. And you say, well, some of you will say, well, I would love to get 30 subscribers in a day. And fair enough. But, you know, three weeks before I was getting 600, 675 subscribers in a day. Like my whole channel was going to zero. And then when I came back on now, it's just starting to come back up. Who knows, guys, how long it's going to take me to get, you know, this is where I am right now. Who knows how long it's going to take me to get back to here? Why? Because I went to Mexico and didn't post anything. Right. So we're learning some harsh lessons. But one of the things, oh, sorry about that. One of the things is that uh, maybe rebuilding Black Wall Street is like, listen, if you were running Google ads, maybe that wouldn't have happened. So we, we need to hit this man up. He, he knows what's going on. Well, I want right. to thank mm -hmm. you. And uh, I want to say what's up to the brother coming up on uh, Keep It Techie. I remember when his channel was real small and, they, you know, he got pretty good, you know, good traction and it kind of took off. He's got valuable information that's tech of a technical sort. So, um, yeah, to listen to, you know, his growth uh, thing. But, you know, he applied himself more. He posted more video. I think I, I might have even started before him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, it's, it's so what you said, you got to you got to post. You got to You got to You got to feed that algorithm. Beast. Yes, you got to do that. You got to feed it. Too. You're right. Listen, thank you so much, Dollar Will, for coming on. And right, please drop you. your please drop your channel link in the chat. Right? I put it in the in the comments. I don't think I can uh, if you're not if you're not uh don't have a wrench, you can't I don't think they let you post drop links. You can't put it in, in the comment section? Uh, I put it in the private chat, but I don't think I don't think you, they let you uh drop a um link in the comment if you if you're not uh you don't have a wrench. Really? I didn't know that. I've been telling everybody to, uh, yeah, uh, yeah that's true. Uh, El, El Guapo says it's true. I didn't know that. I've been telling everybody to drop their, yeah. uh, hmm. So I put, so See, I, look I, at, gave it, I, I put it in the you, private chat for you, my, my link. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I can, okay, maybe I'll start doing it then. I never look at the private chat, guys. Sometimes at the end of a live stream, I look over and there are 250 private chats. I haven't looked at them at all. <laughs> you yeah, guys are there you know talking what? Every to time you. you've asked people to drop their link, they probably were, and they, and they did oh, not have no. a link. They probably <laughs> was putting it right there. But keep it techie can get you, get your game tight on all that kind of stuff, oh, including reviving God. old computers with new, you know, with the Linux, Linux operating system. That's the brother right there. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. See, this is this is a perfect example how this is why it's YouTube Elementary because we're all learning. I, I learn from these things too. So thank you so much. Thank, right, you, thank you, Dollar Will. I appreciate your your knowledge. All right. Thank Peace. you. All righty, guys. Listen, I, I'm, I make mistakes in this stuff all the time. Shout out to Tim Howard Five. Tim Howard Five says donate to the Super Chat or Cash App. The lead attorney is giving great content and helping people out. And this is kind of what we were talking about too. Thank you so much, Tahar. I really appreciate you doing not only your super chat, which is generous, but your content, right? YouTube, you know, I'm trying to help people out. We got 240 people in the chat, right? If I was talking about Tasha K, there'd be, you know, 2,000 people in here, right? But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. This isn't, this isn't the clout chasing type of video. And, uh, you know, we're doing something special over here, but just notice also what happens when you don't clout chase. Notice what also happens when you don't talk about mainstream or pop culture, instead of you getting, you know, 750 viewers or a thousand viewers, you get, you know, 240 viewers. Right. But a shout out to Tim Howard also. So I really appreciate that, Tim Howard. Um, 
Because it is a Sunday, guys, and I'm working for you. But then also a shout out to uh, Mr. Wright, who followed it up real quick. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Didn't even didn't even put a question, just a comment, just like, no, man, thank you. I, I, I appreciate you uh, giving us this knowledge. So I appreciate you, uh, Mr. Wright. Thank you. And then, of course, of course, AJ is a road tripper. Jesus. It's almost embarrassing to get this from you. You supported me so much in the last one. So thank you, uh, AJ is road tripping and uh, really, really appreciate this guys. And really everybody in the chat, everybody who's given and everybody who, um, everybody who's just uh, here. Well, we got my man, Solomon. Everybody knows Solomon Kennard, right? Not Kincaid, Kennard. Uh, so shout out to Solomon. Shout out to Raven. What does Raven say? Extrañe tus lives esta semana por trabajar. Shout out to Raven. Raven uh, just started her uh, her job. She started August 1st, making big money up there in Washington. Shout out to Raven, man. Raven's doing it up. It's hard, guys, but, you know, listen, we just got to work hard and 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 hopefully luck and favor will be on our side. But we got to we got to do the work. And Raven is absolutely doing the work. Entonces, yo te, te extrañé también, Raven. Te extrañé también. Uh, who else we got? Oh, we got my man El, El Guapo. You see him right here, guys. You see him right here, El Guapo in the studio, right there with Magnus and the chessboard. Uh, what does he say? He says this, this is a retainer, super generous, super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beautiful eyes. He's all, but he's always been generous with me. But again, this is one of these high value guys where you talk to him immediately and you know what it's about. He, uh, he came up on one of my lives a few months ago, and I was like, oh, man, this dude is deep. Every now and then, someone will come up, and I'm like, this is something. That's what happened with Rush. Rush came up, and I was like, oh, this one's different, right? So now me and Rush, if she still likes me, right? We, we, blew, her, we blew her damn stream up yesterday. So if she still likes me, we're going to do a, a, a collaboration on Thursday. And uh, the, the beautiful eyes, El Guapo, was the same way. He came up, and I was like, no, nah, I got to do something special with you. So shout out to beautiful eyes. We're about to hear from him in a second. And then uh, Cigar Talk. Shout out to Cigar Talk. So there's a couple of bucks for the Flying Biscuit. Yeah, y'all know about the Flying Biscuit? Flying Biscuit is a pretty good restaurant that we got down here in Atlanta. Serves uh, breakfast meals. I'm not sure if they do lunch, but I always go for breakfast. So shout out, uh, shout out to Cigar Talk. Cigar Talk knows what it's about down here in the A town. And then JT Coin Rings. I think I saw him down here in the. Uh, there he is. He's down here in the back. We're full in the back, guys. So if you can't get in, it's it's because uh, Streamyard only allows twelve people to get in. But we're going to be moving through them. It says keep dropping these jewels, lead attorney. Yes, I'm trying, and I'm learning too. You guys are letting me know. So now, when I look and I'm like, why are there 250 comments in the chat? It's because I'm telling everybody to drop their link in the chat, and then they drop it there. I don't ever look at it. I just see a bubble that goes from 14 to 75 to 125. I don't know what's going on in there. Y'all are talking to y'all selves. It's, it's hard enough for me to figure out what the hell is going on up here. Uh. <laughs> What is Trash Can Wave says? Rush Ribbons developing tough skin. She won't hold hard feelings. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to put some calluses on her. <laughs> Listen, guys, let me tell you something. This is not a shout at Rush, right? Um, this is this is, goes to all YouTubers. You're gonna get it. You know, if you start up a channel, you are gonna get it. I, I you know, I I just I just got an Instagram post yesterday. From a guy who sent me a link to random dudes talking talking shit about me. I don't know. One's an attorney. I don't know who these people are. They've never come on the show, right? Uh, shout out to the YouTube uh, algorithm that filters out your comments. I'll, 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 I'll upload a video, and the video will have all these comments on it, and I'll look in the spam. I'll look where, where, they've, where, the, where YouTube has deleted the comments. They'll put them in like a spam folder. I'll look in the spam folder and there'll be a comment that are like, oh, lead attorney, this is such a great video. Thanks so much. And I'm like, why is this in the spam folder? And then I'll look in the regular comment section and it'll be like, lead attorney, you should, you should suck a dick. Like, why didn't that get into the spam folder, right? Why didn't that get put in there? But what's the point? The point is people come at me in, on my comments, in my comment section every single video. 
So trash can waves is right in that. Listen, we're going to need to develop a tough skin. We're going to need to 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 get some calluses because people are harsh out here. <laughs> they are absolutely harsh. Let me give a quick shout out to uh, Paula Kenny. Paula Kenny, thank you so much, Paula Kenny. Paula Kenny sent your boy a uh, a cash app for the coffee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I think we got Dollar Will in the house too. Dollar Will said, uh, thank you, Dollar Will. Appreciate that. Says, get the bag and keep it. Learn technical analysis to add it to the fundamental analysis. I don't know if I believe in the technical analysis, but I'm not competent enough to talk to you about it because you know so much more about it than that. There, there's no, you would beat me up in the conversation. So I, I can't talk to you about that. Uh, but I'm, I'm a little skeptical, but it's because I'm ignorant about it. All right. Uh, let's go to uh, keep it techie. And then we're going to go to, I'm going to go a little bit out of order. Guys, I don't like to have all these damn uh, icons on. I'm going to have the icons and you do not have to cam up to get here. But I do sometimes give a little preferential treatment to people who are on camera just because I don't like the look. Shout out to Bernard Riley, but Bernard Riley will be on a stream with 10 damn icons. I refuse to do that. <laughs> shout out, shout out to Bernard. All right, keep it techie. Uh, thank you for, for coming on. Do you have you have a, a you, you have a uh, YouTube channel? Yes, yes, sir. I do. Is and, it uh, uh oh look at you? You got the merch and everything, you got the yeah. shirt. <laughs> shout, shout out to keep it techie, man. Shout out to keep it techie. Uh yeah. tell us a little bit about your channel. So basically, I started my channel back in uh, 2016. And first off, I've been working in the IT field for uh, close to 15 years or so, um, doing wow. different positions and everything. And I've always uh, mentored people in the past. And so one of the things that's one of the reasons that inspired me to start my YouTube channel, especially uh, working with O'Shea. You know, um, I've always liked his channel. I've been following him for a long time and he kind of inspired me, inspired me to start my own channel because uh, he he would always get up there and say, hey, guys, um, we need to support black men. We need to create black media. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I said, well, this is something that I'm interested in, which is Linux. My channel is all about the Linux operating system, open mm. source, as well as, you know, just general IT. Well, um, by him saying that, I was like, well, this is what I know about. So let me just start a channel on it and see what happens. And uh, it, it mainly started just to try to help people get into the IT field because every every position that I've worked in since I, uh, you know, work since I've been in the IT field, 90 uh, percent of the time I've been the only black guy in the room. Yes. Uh, and and so we we have a, a growing need for more black people in the tech field and so that's my whole goal is to try to put the information out there to try to help people get into the it field um and i've been doing like i said i've been doing my channel since 2016 and um Ooh, like you were better. saying yeah like you were saying uh <laughs> um you you was basically saying that um, wait let me know, cut you off you for a second talking about, let me, let me oh, cut you ahead. off for one second hold that thought but I do want to answer uh, Cigar Talk. Cigar Talks asked me, you know, my little buzzer. He asked yeah. me if this was from StreamYard. And if I, I, I don't want to interrupt you, Techie, but if I did, I would forget this. No problem. And Lana's life is exactly right. This is not from StreamYard. This is, uh, uh, what did she call it? A soundboard. So I'm not sure if you can uh, see this. I don't want to mess my stuff up. This is a Rodecaster Pro, right? And these little uh, buttons right here are buttons that, 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 that have different sounds. So when somebody bombs the chat, I just I just go all the way up with it, right? I just do that when somebody gives me a, a big super chat or something like that. So this is uh, the Rodecaster Pro. It's excellent. I think it's probably the top one for you that YouTubers use on the market. It's about $600. It's worth it. Uh, it's connected to this microphone. You cannot see the mic, but this is a Sennheiser uh, microphone. And so I run it through, I run everything through, the, I run my uh, headphones through uh, the, the Rodecaster. If you guys send me a cash app, you might hear it, the little cha-ching, but that's because my phone is connected through the Bluetooth of the Rodecaster. So I highly recommend a Rodecaster. I got my Sennheiser microphone, I got my iPhone, I got my ear puds thing, I got everything going through this and just one cable goes to my, uh, my Mac. 
and it handles all of my sound. And I never, I've never had a, I did have one problem with it. I don't know what it was, but it got fixed. So uh, if it broke on me, I would, I would buy another one the same day. So uh, great question, Cigar Talk. And uh, Lana's life is exactly right. I didn't want to interrupt you, Techie, but I knew that if no I just moved on with other comments, then I would forget about uh, Cigar Cigar Talk's comment. Nah, right, no, so. problem, no problem, no problem, no um, problem. Yeah, I just, like I said, I, I just created my channel just to try to help people get into the tech field. That's That was pretty much summing it up. And, uh, oh, yeah, like you were saying, um, how if you were talking about, I guess, one of these people in on social media or one of these popular people, or one of these popular topics, clout chasing or whatever, uh, you have a lot of people, you know, in the chat. And so it's been a struggle with my channel because it's it's really all about education and trying to help people. You know what I'm saying? And so it's a slow growth and a slow grind. And I do I do a lot of um, uh, pre-recorded videos. So I do a lot of editing and all that stuff. So what and, do you? Uh, so you've been on. You said since 2016, something like that. Yes. Yes. Sir. Wow. Okay. So, yep. did you start off doing? You have you always done pre-recorded videos, or was there a time when you were doing more live streams? Tell us about no. the evolution of your channel. So it's all been just it's, videos. It's huh? all been. It's all been pre-recorded, and I do it around my full-time job. You know what I'm saying? This is not nothing. You know that's wow. full time for me. So it's all. So it's all when I have time to make videos. That's when I'll put up videos and everything. And now recently, I have started live streaming. Because, streaming because I keep hearing, you know, and seeing, you know, like your channel, example, Kevin Samuels, all these other channels or whatever. That live streaming is kind of a a way to go to help build your channel. So mm -hmm. each weekend. And I, I choose the weekends because that's my my free time or the free time that I do have set aside for it. But every Saturday I do start. I, I have started doing live streams where I bring on different people that work in the IT field. Like this weekend, I brought on uh, my friend Tech G. I don't know if he's been on here, but he does a lot of courses to um, like A plus and A plus. And, and I know you probably don't know all this stuff because it's all that tech, the tech uh, certifications. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the he does a lot of training videos on that as well. So I always shout him out and bring him on. And so collaborations is key. Like you were saying, yes. you know, hundred percent key, you know what I'm saying? And and that's one thing that's been helping me recently. Uh, Cause I was kind of stuck at like 5,000 subscribers uh, that kind of, you know, start bumping me up by doing a lot of collaborations and working with different people that are in my niche. And that's the important part about it. You want to make sure uh, you collab with people that are in your niche because they're bringing people that can resonate with the content that you're you're putting out and you're bringing people you know from your channel that you know it's kind of a give and take thing uh and they all can resonate with both you know both uh content creators because they're both in that same niche so to right. speak. so so but that's all i wanted to say i, I know i, I could no like stay, going, up, but... stay up here for a second because i want <laughs> okay. to talk to you a little bit about your editing process okay before uh before that attending video attendant physician said how many subscribers do i need to afford that man do you know hey let's say how many subscribers do you need to be able to afford six hundred dollars i can't even tell you how long how many it took me if, if i had if i had to wait to buy this thing based on my subscriber count, 600 subscribers. I mean, to get $600, I might have needed like 10,000 subscribers or something. I mean, it, it takes so long. It, it took me so long to start making my. Well, let me take that back. I think I did a video because I want to be transparent with you guys. I did a video where I of how much money I was making when I had 10,000 subscribers. And I think when I had 10,000 subscribers, I think in that video, I was make I made like Three thousand dollars, right? But that was with ten thousand subscribers. So maybe you know, with three thousand, I could have afforded the six hundred or something like that. Let me say this. Let me say two things. Number one, you're an attending physician. All right, so you got it either way. You got six hundred dollars. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap uh, for you. But for other people, let's say if you're twenty five year old and you're like six hundred dollars, I ain't got six hundred dollars. You don't need it. If you're an attending physician, go ahead and buy this damn thing. All right, stop playing around. But if you're a 24 year old or a 32 year old and you're just getting started, just use your phone, man. Don't don't get fancy with it. Because what did I say in that when I had 10,000 subscribers? I was like, oh, you okay? You think this three thousand dollars? You think that's good money, right? No, I'm in the hole. 
because I buy everything, guys. If, if, if I think one thing is going to help me, I will buy it instantly. There's one video I was looking like a damn gamer. Do you know I was looking like a gamer? Because I had a big Shure, uh, what is it, the Shure mics that everybody has, and I had the, I had the Gator arm. Like I bought all, I, I didn't like it and you could barely see me. The damn thing was so big. You know, the way I had it set up, I didn't have it set up right, right? I bought the M1, uh, the, the computer, I the Mac computer. I got this Mac. I got all these monitors, all these lightings. Got the stream deck. I got the Cal Digit dock. I got everything. Like tell me that there's one thing that can help my channel 1% and it's already bought. I bought the Meet Kevin course. I bought it too late. I should have bought it earlier. I should have bought this book earlier. Guys, get knowledge early. Don't buy this. Don't buy a, 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 a road uh, a Roadcaster Pro. Don't buy equipment first. If you you know you all right, you might need a camera. You don't even need a camera if you're going to do live stream. Shout out to Jessica X. Jessica X. She was like lead attorney. I don't know how you're how you're losing money on on YouTube. It doesn't make sense to me. Why didn't it make sense to her? Right, because she had a hundred dollar microphone. That's all she fucking bought. Right, because she doesn't need it. She doesn't. She doesn't cam up, so she doesn't need a camera. She doesn't edit. She doesn't do videos like Techie, so she doesn't need to edit. She does hundred hundred percent live streams, so she just she you know she can get a Yeti mic for a hundred dollars and make thousands and thousands of dollars a month. You just got to know how to do it. Now, for me, I don't want to have a thing where you're talking to an icon, but that's because also I don't have a beautiful voice. If I had a Jessica X voice, you guys might never know what the hell I look like, right? Focus on the voice. Don't focus on how I look. But, you know, I'm from Atlanta with a ghetto voice so and a high-pitched voice at that. So I, I, need, I, need, to, I need to show you the, the visuals to distract you. But there are a thousand ways to make money on YouTube. So attending physician, you, I wanted to interrupt Techie because your, 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 your question is so good. A lot of people say, oh, well, I'll start my YouTube channel once I get the, the A6000 Sony camera, once I get the Shure mic, once I get, this, uh, once I get all the lighting, you know, once I get my new computer, then I'll start. Don't do that. Just go ahead and start with what you got. And then as you go along, build up. But your, to answer your question, how many subscribers do you need to be able to pay $600? You need, you need a few. It's going to take you a long time. You're not going to get $600 with 2,000 subscribers probably. Or it's going to take you a while at least. I don't know because Rush, she only has 700. You guys are supporting Rush so much, man. Rush, Rush gets these cash outs. They're humongous. And she has 700 subscribers. Like we support each other, man. It's so... Shout out to this community. We support each other so, so much, right? So I don't know, may maybe attending physician, you could get it. You could get it with 700 subscribers if you do live streams, but you're gonna, you need to get it from your subscribers. You're not gonna get it from YouTube. Let me say that. You are not gonna get it from AdSense. From AdSense, it might take you three years. <laughs> but from your for subscribers, you know, to be honest, maybe you can get it in a week if you got some good subscribers like Rush has got, right? Some good subscribers like I got, you know, El Guapo sending me $20 every, every damn time I turn around. You get some good brothers, some good sisters on your team. They'll support you, man. They'll hold you up. So then you can turn around and just try to give out the little free game that you know. Right. So uh, that, 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 that's, a, that's a great point. So I wanted to cut off Techie again. I try not to cut people off. But for this type of for this type of format, I want to cut you off if someone asks a quick question, because I know if, if I don't. If I say, oh, I'll remember it, I'll move on to something else. All right, Techie, listen, when I was doing videos, I was averaging for one minute, For if, if a video lasted one minute, it was taking me one hour to edit. So I was having 10 minute videos that were taking me 10 hours, 15 minute videos that were taking me 15 hours. Like, what is your editing process? Do you use Adobe, Premiere Pro? Do you use Final Cut Pro? Kind of, how do you, how do you speed things up? Okay, so I have my um, my whole editing process, I guess, broken down. Uh, I use strictly open source software, which is, uh, you know, free software that and basically the software that I talk about on my channel. Uh, a lot of it is free and open source. You can download it for free. You can store it. You don't have to purchase Adobe products. I made videos just basically showing people that there are free alternatives 
to Adobe products like Adobe Premiere, Adobe uh, Photoshop, you know, creating your graphics and all that stuff. And yeah, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, you get it. And if you also have some background working with Photoshop, then, then you can easily apply a lot of your knowledge that you've learned using those other softwares to this software here uh, that's free and open source. So I use like, uh, for instance, GIMP that can be installed on Windows and Linux operating systems uh, for photo editing. That's the equivalent of Photoshop. And then also I use what they call Get Caden Live and then also OpenShot. And this allows me to edit my photos just like- You start talking uh, about to, and, uh, to technical people. You don't know what the hell they're talking about, man. All yeah. of us, we're like- <laughs> Da Vinci, we're like iMovie, yeah. we are Final Cut Pro, we are Premiere Pro, and you're mm -hmm. over here talking about GIMP and this. Uh, you guys yeah. are so technical. You guys are ordered. That's why y'all make <laughs> all that money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I um, you know, I, I, all this stuff is just stuff that I do on the on the side, and I gotta I gotta actually go because uh, I got a, a a conference that I'm finna go to, and so sorry I, I want to come back and uh and talk to you more about this stuff. Uh, I apologize. I, I wish no, I had a little fine. bit more time. You're fine. You know what I'm saying? But my wife's calling me through the door like, hey, hey, we oh we now go. they're about to call so, you a simp. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> whatever. I don't care about people calling. No, me I'm just that, teasing. Man. I'm just teasing. That's <laughs> a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. I know. No, listen. Thank you so much for your time. And for your expertise and for your knowledge, yeah, you've no been, problem. You've been here a long time, so thank you so much. Please come back anytime. Okay, all right, appreciate it, and you have a good day. And I'm gonna uh, drop some in the in the uh, the super chat in a second. Oh, so thank you so it, much. Really all appreciate right. it, right. thank you, right. thank you, right. thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, um, let's pull up Trevon, but then oh, we got Trevon here. Let's pull up uh, Paula, and I'm gonna get to El Guapo in a second. You guys are so, I mean, Tim Howard, Trash Can Ways, like you guys are on it. I should have thought about this. Derek Jackson been doing all his videos on an iPhone 6 in his car. You know, he's making a hundred thousand, you know, he's making, I, I made a video about how many, I was making $10,000 a month. That's it. He would cry if he, if he looked at his analytics and saw that he made $10,000 in one month. He'd be like, where's the other 90? <laughs> where's the other 90? Right. So attending physician, you I mean, you're you're asking a good question about the equipment. We all do when we're starting out because you need you need stuff to start out. Right. Uh, look at look at El Guapo. He set up a whole studio in his in his. He's looking good. Right. So as time goes on, you can you can step it up. But man, uh, Tim is so right that uh, Derek Howard, Derek Howard, Derek Jackson with his iPhone six has been making you know, $100,000 a month, $100,000 a month sitting in his car making three minute videos. That should show you right there. Tim, this is Tim came with the perfect example that you don't need anything. <laughs> you need an iPhone and you already got that, right? So shout out, shout out to, uh, shout out to Tim because he's absolutely right. Oh, we got to keep it, keep it techie. Thank you so much. Keep it techie. Very, very generous. And again, no comment, no question, just the pure, pure love. Thank you. Really appreciate it. This is what I'm talking about, attending physician. People will hold you up. Guys, I didn't want to say, you don't ever want to count anybody's money. You know, you don't ever want to do that. But I was on uh, one of, when Rush started, uh, when Rush started doing her live streams and you guys were hitting her with the cash apps, it, it made me feel so good. You know, it's her money, right? Fine. But the fact that y'all came over there from my channel and supported her, it made me feel so good. And so your community is going to hold you up because AdSense is not going to hold you up. <laughs> AdSense, you're going to be waiting a long time for the AdSense attending physician. But the community is going to hold you up. This is what O'Shea Dude Jackson says. O'Shea Dude Jackson says, listen, you know, I make so much money every day, but if I ever needed $2,000, I can do a live stream. I don't need these white people. You know, I don't need to, to clock in. I, I don't need to go into any, any white man's office and tell him and ask him, can I take a vacation? He says, if I need two thousand dollars, I'll start a live stream and my people will support me. Right. And that's what you got to love. man. You got to love. So when I see us supporting each other, ah, oh, oh, it, it, I'm telling you, it's something that I just did not anticipate when I started YouTube. And I don't know if you can get this if you just do. Let me say this. This might be important. Maybe you disagree. I don't know if you can establish this type of community if you don't do live streams. 
if you're just doing your little eight minute videos, your 12 minute videos, I don't know if you can get this, right? You're going to get some ad sense and Lord knows Mr. Beast is making millions, right? So you can make your money, but I don't know if you can have a community if you're not doing the live streams, right? So maybe that's something to think about. I don't know. I don't know. All right. We got uh, El Guapo in the house. El Guapo. Uh, you are a YouTuber. Let me get you to uh, introduce your your channel a little bit. Lord knows I love it. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about what you got going on? What's good, jury members? Salute and salutations. I'm El Wapo from uh, Beautiful Eyes. Great to be here with you today. Uh, yeah, my channel, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, lead attorney. I'm thinking about making a turn. I'm thinking about coming to the dark side. I, I You know, you've been speaking some truth here. And I got a couple of quick tidbits. I got to get back to work. I'm doing some voiceover work uh, today. You need but, to be um, doing voiceover work. You and Jessica X. And just a quick shout out. Quick shout out to Larry Reed Live. Y'all don't know. Y'all y'all know who Larry. I didn't know who Larry Reed Live was. He's down here in Atlanta with me. Uh, Larry Reed Live is a famous YouTuber. He came in. Talk about community. He blessed me. And I was like, oh, look at this. Someone came in and blessed me. And then everybody's like, oh, Larry Reed, Larry. And I was like, oh, this is a somebody. I didn't know. I was, I'm new. Like, this is a somebody. So, and he he concurs. He says it happens more when you go live as opposed to when uh we had a Paula drop off, as opposed to when you do uh to, to when you do videos. So uh shout out to Larry and I uh, thank you thank him for thank you for for confirming that. Sometimes I talk I don't know what the hell I'd be talking about. But he has a very successful channel so I would definitely take his word for it. So a uh, shout out to Larry. I, but I, I know you got to go uh Guapo so I apologize for interrupting you. Uh, what were you you're, saying? You're good man, you're good. So um a couple of things clout chasing absolutely works. Out of all the videos I've done, I did one on Charlemagne mm -hmm. and it got like 5000 views <laughs> which is <laughs> <laughs> Which, I'm, I'm a small YouTuber. I have, I think, right around 500 subscribers. My watch time's pretty good, but I mean, that blew it out of the water talking blew about him. And then the next one that I had is like 1,200 views, and that's talking about another popular YouTuber. So clout chasing absolutely works. Yeah, absolutely works. But listen, I took some notes uh, real fast. I'm going to give you three quick tips. I'm going to get out of here. Yes. Tip number one if you're going to be a YouTuber, you need to take notes. I got a notebook for everything. I got one for show ideas. I got mm. one that says quotes right there. And I got one for outlines. So awesome. you want to make sure that you're always taking notes. Keep one beside your bed in the middle of the night. You'll have a dream. I promise you it's going to happen. You'll be like, oh, it's a great show idea. If you don't wake up and write it down right away, you'll forget it. Okay. Uh, the second one I got for you is... Um, you got to niche down your content. You talked about this lead attorney. This is huge. So here's one thing that people don't realize. As you start to build a following, if you start flip-flopping on what you talk about, you moving to another topic will cause you to lose subscribers. Lead attorney talked about waking up. This is something all new YouTubers do. I do this too. We all you do get it. up, you look at your YouTube studio. That's the first thing first before I get thing out of the, in the, the morning. Day in the morning. I look. Yes. I look and see. And then if you mess around and you you put a video on there, you might put out new content and have less subscribers because you didn't stay in your niche. So right. the quicker you can niche down, the better off you're going to be. And then uh, the last thing we talk about this, I feel your pain. This is why I started uh, doing live streams. I hate editing as well. I had to learn DaVinci Resolve. Yes. Bruh. Like eight hours of video watching before I even got just started, man. Exactly. Yeah, it's and it was, it, it, yeah. It, it, it's it's rough. You can do it, but it's difficult. So if you're going to um, the the sooner you can invest in yourself and your channel, you know, Fiverr is a great app. You know, hey, Fiverr, give lead attorney some ad money for this. Fiverr is a great app um, and you can get some great stuff done. I've had voiceover work. I needed somebody to do an English accent for me for my channel. Um, for, your, like for your YouTube bucks. channel? Say again? For your YouTube channel? Yeah, I've got a an English, a British sounding woman that does my intro now. You yeah, know what I was gonna do? Cause I'm cheap as hell. I was gonna get Jessica X to when she's the next time she's on my channel, I was gonna get her to say the lead attorney three different times. Yeah. And then I would just go cry. I was just gonna take that, right? But you're you're doing it the professional That's what O'Shea way. is talking about. That's exactly what O'Shea is talking <laughs> about. Look at you, man. Right. I was gonna <laughs> trick her. I was gonna be like, hey, Jessica X, what's the name of my channel again? 
Wait, say it one more time. Okay, say it slower one more time. Right. There you go. But, but no, hey, Peter Turner, right. you, uh, my friend, my channel wouldn't have half the subscribers I have without you. I appreciate well, you. you paying it forward, and and I feel what you're saying. It's great, guys. Take advantage while it's free. I'm going to tell you right now. I under I agree with O'Shea. In yeah. fact, I've been wanting to reach out to him, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to actually, when I'm ready, I'll go to Poland and do the interview there if he'll let me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah well, that would be tight right there. That would be Yeah, tight. I'll do it. I'll do it. But I want to be monetized first. So, but yeah. I love what you're doing, man. I appreciate you guys, jury members. And uh, that's all I got, man. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming on. And are you a moderator? You're a moderator, right? I am not. How the hell are you not a moderator? Because I I didn't even know about the whole you couldn't put your link in the chat until uh, yeah. If I can get you just to write your uh, just write your name in the chat or something so I can make you a uh, a moderator because I need to click on your uh, sure your name. All right. So uh, and again, I apologize to everybody who's been dropping their link in the private chat. I never look in the private chat. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on in there. So uh, but yeah. So uh, real quick before I forget. Um, uh, uh, El Guapo, if you can just write something in there, perfect. Yeah, I threw I threw my name in there. Do you need me to put my actual channel name? Nope, I got you. Okay, All right, so uh, thank you so much, and uh, saludame la, uh, la right. guapa, la, la bella. Says hi. She's watching from Colombia right now. I told her I was about to jump on. Oh, fantastic! Well, la bella, este ni 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 sé qué 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 te puedo decir, verdad? Este nada más te mando un abrazo muy fuerte con todo respeto. Uh, Señor El Guapo. Okay, so shout out to El Guapo. All right. Uh, and shout out to La Bella. Thank you so much for coming on. All right, man. El Guapo out. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Um, let us bring in big time drum. Big time drum. Love that. So we're going to go to Trevon, then we're going to go to Paola, and then we're going to go to big time drum. I always wanted to learn how to play the drums. Guys, there's something about the drums when I hear, I, it must be the African in me. Because when it's somebody, when I hear these damn drums, I don't care what it is. It's like, oh, I just talked from in the very beginning, we were talking about Jessica X and she has a new video that has those Japanese drums. That, oh man, I, I was feeling it. Just shout out to Jessica X and her new intro. That, those Japanese drums were killing it. I loved it, I loved it. All right, Trevon, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, let me ask you, am I saying your name right? Is it Trayvon or is it Trevon? It's Trayvon. Trayvon, I apologize for that. Please, guys, let me know if I'm saying your name wrong because I definitely want to put some respect on your name, all right? Trayvon. So what do you think about this, Trayvon? Well, well let me I ask you first. Let me ask you first. Do you have a, uh, do you have a YouTube channel? I used to about okay. seven years ago. Awesome. Okay. Why, why did you let it go? Um, I was at in college at the time, so that makes I, sense. Couldn't, I couldn't do YouTube in college, and I had to pick one, so I picked, you know, what doing my college stuff. Yes. So, so at the time, while I was doing YouTube, mm -hmm. the first video you made, you got monetized. It wasn't all this, um, <laughs> you may get this many views and the first video you made, you got monetized. Wow. Those are the good old days. So that made me want to start a YouTube channel. I was like, oh, I could get it monetized by just dropping the video. Mm -hmm. But what they don't tell you is that you need so many views to get your first YouTube channel. So you need about 10,000 views to get that first YouTube channel. So you might be monetized for a whole year, but until you get that 10,000 views, you won't get that first YouTube channel. Right. Interesting. I didn't I didn't know that. But those are the good old days. Are you thinking about starting a new YouTube channel now? I might. I might. Yeah. What would you talk about? Well, back in the back in the day, I used to talk about like anime. So I used to do anime and gaming. And there was like a big anime and gaming community on YouTube back in the day. So we used to have like live streams. And back in the day, 
you have something called Google Hangouts, and you use Google Hangouts and, and allow 10 people to do live streams, but they got rid of that a, a few years ago. Mm. So it was much easier to, you know, do a live stream like this, and you didn't have to pay StreamYard. All you had to do is use Google stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you so, got Yeah, that's easier. So, like, back in the day, there was something called an MCN. All the YouTubers seven years ago wanted to be a part of an MCN. Listen, Trayvon, you are dropping knowledge, man, because I remember I was I had looked into YouTube a little bit early, like in 2017, and everybody had uh, MCNs. And I was thinking about starting one, but then the whole YouTube adpocalypse hit. And I was like, oh, I'm glad I didn't take the, I didn't start it then, right? But now you don't hear about MCNs. And this is very interesting. Tell us a little bit about what the MCNs are. I was thinking, about, I was like, man, if I start one, I guess I got to be a part of an MCN. The MCN is, was kind of like a rocket label for YouTube. Yes. To, I, to make it simple, you know? Yeah, that's a perfect. I've never heard anybody describe it like that, but that is exactly what it was. It was like you were an artist and it was like your record label and they would do what record labels do, right? Yeah, so an MCN used to contact, contact up and coming YouTubers and invite them to apply for their services, right? And you needed a certain amount of subscribers to get an MCN. Like you need about, and each MCN has their own different subscriber amount that you need to get in. So one MCN, you need about like 10,000 subscribers, right? So you have 10,000 subscribers, you apply, right? A few weeks later, they will send you a contract. And, but you know, most YouTubers don't read the contract. They, 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 they're just like, oh, they about to give me more money. And then they sign away. But they don't realize that MCN used to take about 10 to 35% of your YouTube pay. Yes. And what they were supposed to do it was protect you from copyright strikes. So they were like a like a mafia boss. They'd be like, if you don't join us, all your YouTube videos are gonna get taken down by YouTube copyright system. So people use MCN to protect them from copyright. And the MCN job was to be your advertisement company. They were yeah. supposed to advertise for you, you know? And they were also supposed you supposed to connect you with other YouTube creators in your niche and help you guys do collaborations. And so it, just, that, it didn't work out that way. You were dropping old, you're dropping some history. MCN's like everybody's hip to the game now. Like if, if, if an MCN contacts me, I ain't even reading the email. But it was big back in the day. And and all the big YouTubers used to be on MCNs before it got out that. MCNs are just like record labels. They're just going to screw you. And then they're going to offer you very, very little services. But I had forgotten all about those. Shout out to you, Trevon. Give me one second here. Let me shout out to uh, Lou Kaisley. Lou Kaisley 20. Very, very generous. Super, super generous. Super chat says, you have to stay true to your convictions and do not apologize to the keyboard warriors if your opinion offends them. She is absolutely right, and it will offend them. It absolutely will. Also, shout out to AT Alien Stan for the super generous uh, cash app of 1922. Is that is that uh, is that a sorority? 1922. That's a very specific amount. I, if one of the, is one of the is one of our sororities started that year. Uh, black girls get their shift together. Shout out to them. They have a great. Uh, she's a great YouTube channel. She's an awesome YouTube channel. She says, I was going to get uh, Jessica X's voice the Decatur way. She knows about it. She knows about it. I was going to, yeah, just keep saying my name, Jessica. Uh, Larry Walker. 
new a new member. Thank you so much, Larry Walker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what does Luke Hazley say? O hablas el español muy bien. Pues sí, pues bueno, más o menos. Viví en México unos cinco o seis años. Este, entonces sí, este, sí, sí hablo. Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes it, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. But thank you, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Luke Hazley. And thank you again for the support. We got Raven in the house. What does Raven say? Will you be... Will you ever be covering Britney Spears? I tried to cover Britney Spears, but you know, she might be the wrong. <laughs> she might be the wrong. <laughs> Not a lot of people watched it. <laughs> Not a lot of people watched it. So uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to circle back. I don't know if I'm going to circle back. And what is Luke? Hey, Luke Hazley again. Thank you so much, Luke Hazley. Uh, says reaction videos get the younger viewers. It's true. And older viewers, I'll watch a reaction video depending on what we're reacting to. Reaction videos are very popular in the Red Pill community, extremely popular. But you got to be careful because that you can get you can easily get copyright strikes. And uh, shout out to N Lynch, uh, let's talk uh, trending topics with N Lynch. And I think he has two copyright strikes now, and he has to, or he had two copyright strikes, and he had to back off until those went away. Because if you get that third copyright strike, you're done. They'll delete your whole channel. So that's the problem with reaction videos. That is the problem with reaction videos. At the same time, look at mediocre tutorial reviews, right? And reactions. I mean, he's got 200,000 subscribers doing reaction videos. So you can absolutely kill the game. Absolutely kill the game with reaction videos. But it's double-edged. One thing that I was shocked about uh, MTR, he showed uh, some of his videos. I was shocked at this. Uh, he, he he went into his studio and just showed a clip of some of all the videos that he had made. So many of them were demonetized, or uh, the money from that the, the money that he had gotten was going to the original creator of the work. I was like, oh my god! Like I I didn't know reaction videos. They'll get you some views, but I mean. It, it, it can be cutthroat. It can be cutthroat. Sorry about that, uh, Trayvon. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, that's um, okay. But but yeah, those those MCNs were they are part of history now. They're gone, so I don't want to spend too much time work talking about them. But you are exactly right. They were a huge scam. Yeah. Scam might be too strong of a word because even the biggest YouTubers were part of them. But it did turn out to be a scam, and and really no one no one kind of knew what was going on until it was too late. So, I don't know, Trayvon. You go ahead. I'm sorry. That's why in the in the private chat I was saying that today's YouTubers have it easier and harder at the exact same time. Mm. Because now you guys don't have to worry about MCNs and all those other stuff. That's a fact. But back in the day, if you started a YouTube channel back in the day, usually you will be able to gain more money from AdSense because back in the day, there was no YouTube ad pop rips, you know? Mm -hmm. So and, and now these advertise are stitchy on who, who they advertise. So if you want to be a YouTuber and make money, you have to ask yourself, what is the content that's going to make the most money? Because yeah. if you going to be cursing and doing the whole manic field thing, that's not going to make the most money. So you have to really think. Well, about you say that. You say that. But then Kevin Samuels. But, right? but Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels was talking about cologne. He was talking about clothes. He was talking about image. He wasn't making any money. He went into the Red Pill community and tore it up, and he's making millions. But, but your point is well taken. There's only one Kevin Samuels, right? So your point is well taken, too. He's not where we making money out, 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 out of AdSense. He probably oh, that's make, true. He making most of his money out of like YouTube donations and, and other people talk about his channel and stuff. I'll That's true. About and guys, if, and and just, just, to, just to jump in, uh, Trevon is dropping a lot of knowledge. 
AdSense is not going to get you there. <laughs> it's just not going to get you there. You need AdSense is a nice little thing, but usually you take a, a YouTuber that has 400,000 subscribers. AdSense is the least is the least uh, uh, revenue stream. There might be seven revenue streams, eight revenue streams, and AdSense might be the least. So uh, Tr Tr Trayvon is really dropping a lot of knowledge. You're exactly right. Even Kevin Samuels, I mean, Kevin Samuels ad AdSense, let's be honest, it's substantial. But his consulting fees, you know, what, what he gets from the cash apps, what he gets from Instagram, all that stuff is probably way more than the, than the AdSense. So you're absolutely right, uh, Trayvon. You're dropping knowledge. All right. Uh, so just to wrap this up, is there anything else that you wanted to, to quickly mention? Uh, I want to give five quick tips the All right, first Trayvon. tip is use whatever you have facts don't be scared because you don't have the fancy software when i started youtube i used something called sony vegas i used a free trial version it got the job done so use whatever you have facts the second tip is do not let the comments scare you. You can have days where the comments are going to be mean to you. But don't stop just because you have a couple of bad comments. Don't let them stop you from making more videos, you know? Yes. The third thing is always take notes. Always take notes of, about the things that you want to talk about and the future things you're going to talk about. Because sometimes it's easy to get confused on, on topics, but if you have notes, you can not get confused and do it, everything as planned. Mm -hmm. The fourth thing is once you do get advertisements, know how to put your ads. Because there's, there's a science to it. Because if you put too many ads, people are going to stop watching videos. Yes. If you don't put ads on your videos at all, you're not going to get any money. So there's a science. So usually you have to put an ad at the um, beginning and an ad at the middle. But you, you usually have to make the video in a way that it be natural. And there's a natural ad break in your, in your video. So, you know? Mm -hmm. And the fifth and final advice is make a website and put all your information in a website. Nice. Man, Trevon is just killing it. Trevon uh, is killing the game. These are just the five tips and tricks that will help you out. Because with the website, you can have other links like your resume. You can have your links to your other YouTube ch channels because you're not, you're supposed to have multiple YouTube channels because in case something happened to your first one, there's always a backup. So that's why you always have to have multiple YouTube channels. And you also have to have multiple sources of income. So you have to have like a pension on. A, a your YouTube membership and all those other stuff to make sure that if something happens, you can still have a little bit more money that's coming in. So, yes, thank you so much, Trevon. You are man, you are super, super knowledgeable, one of the most knowledgeable people that has come up. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything that you have said has just been spot on. Well, right? I hope those tips help and have a nice day. Perfect, thank you, Trevon. Trevon is Trayvon, sorry. Some respect on my man's name. Trayvon is the man. He's exactly right. You know, <clears throat> you 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 definitely need a uh, backup channel if you're doing all these reaction videos. Why do you need a backup channel? Because what's going to happen <laughs> is you're going to get a couple of strikes, and then they're not going to allow you to go live. And then when you can't go live on your main channel, you're screwed. So that's why you need the backup channel so that you can go live while your first channel is sitting in timeout, right? I don't have a backup channel. I don't really do. I don't do reaction videos, but I, I probably need a backup channel. He's talking about you need a website. Mm -hmm. He's right about that. If you're going to treat this like a business, I have a website, but it's just it's, 
leadattorney.com, but it's just a book consultation. So it's a, it's a penny any website. But one thing that he didn't mention that goes along with the website that everybody talks about is a, a, a email list. Mm -hmm. You definitely yeah. need an email list so that you can talk to your people. I don't have an email list. Maybe next year, right? I, I don't do things the the one hundred percent professional way. I don't even know how to use Google Ads, ad, ads, right? But I'm just telling you what I have heard. A lot of people say uh, that you absolutely need an email list along with a website so that you can talk to your people because all of this can just go. And there have been some a few famous cases where YouTube has just cut off uh, a video, a, a channel, just turned off the whole channel, just click, turned it off. Mm -hmm. And you can't talk to your folks. That's true. Right. So uh, 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 having a backup channel, uh, having an a, a email list, having a website, having other ways that you can talk to your people is is really important. Shout out to Swagger 2. Shout out to Swagger 2 with the 1,432 DOP. <laughs> right? Shout out to the DOP. What is uh what is what does Swagger to say? I'm in the D. Okay, I'm in the DR. The actual I, I should have read the damn thing. I <laughs> I didn't even read it. I should have read it. I should have read it first. I'm in the DR and the actual um. Oh, hold up, guys. I forgot I got a consult. Uh, no one to give any more money because I'm gonna have to wrap this thing up pretty soon. I got a consult. Uh, oh, we we still got a few. Okay, we got a few more minutes. Um. Uh, I'm in the DR and the actual amount is $25. Loving the content. Keep up the excellent work. Thank you so much, Swagatude. I wonder if Swagatude is one of these passport bros, right? Passport bros, they 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 love the Dominican Republic. They say it's a lot better. I, I watch, I follow uh, uh, Taylor Made, Taylor Made Dreams. Okay. And he's a strong brother out there. And he talks about, you know, the United States is the matrix and all this. And you know, in a lot of ways, he's he's right. He's right. So I wonder if Swagatu knows. Uh, I think that probably the black community down there is pretty small. I'm pretty sure most people, most most of the ex uh, expatriates is what they call them. Uh, they 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 kind of know each other. So shout out to uh, Swagatu. I wonder if Swagatu has his own YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of people uh, do well out there with with YouTube. There are there are a few YouTubers, a few black YouTubers in the Dominican Republic, along with Taylor Made Dreams. So shout out to uh, shout out to Taylor May Dreams. Um, no, Taylor May Dreams. Shout out to Swagatude uh, for the twenty five dollars. That's uh, super super generous. I want to talk about the Dominican Republic a little bit because when I watch the Taylor May Dreams, and for the people who I hear talk about the Dominican Republic, I sense that the women down there are much more cutthroat than the women in Brazil and the women in Colombia, the women in Mexico. So I wonder if that's the real spot to go to, because it seems like men, black men go down there to have the girlfriend experience. Not just, I'm not talking about just the, just the mongering, right? I'm talking about people who want, black men who want a relationship. But it seems to me that from what I've heard, I've never been to the Dominican Republic, but it seems to me that the women down there know what the deal is. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I want to talk to somebody who's been down there because I just came back from Mexico and that's a good place. Now, you got to know Spanish a little bit. If you don't know Spanish, you're just going to if you go to Mexico, you're going to be down there in Cancun or you're going to be in Cabo and you're not going to be able to talk to the talk to the to the women like you want to. But it seems to me that men go down there and it just mm. it seems very transactional in the Dominican Republic. The women down there are more much more hardcore, like they know what the deal is. They know what the game is. So I'm, maybe I'll, maybe Swagger said, if you have a YouTube channel or if you know anything about that, that would be interesting to talk to you about. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at this. Larry Reed. <laughs> Larry Reed live just bombing the lead of 30, man. Damn. <laughs> Thank you so much, Larry. Shout out to Larry, man. Y'all, y'all know who he is. I didn't, guys. Again, I'm a middle aged YouTuber, so what do I know? I, I didn't, I didn't really know about this. And he came on a month, uh, a couple of months ago, and blessed me, blessed me like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know who he was. I was like, oh, I was so grateful. But then everybody in the chat, everybody in the chat was shouting him out, like, oh, Larry, oh, Larry. That's when I know that somebody's a somebody 
when when the chat starts starts uh shouting them out right and so i am super super appreciative of this larry your generosity is amazing what does larry say my youtube and facebook is monetized with more than 270,000 combined damn i use both as a funnel to generate more than what facebook and google pay see this is this is a man who knows how to mm -hmm. run it as a business some people are telling me they're like oh lead attorney you need to uh you need to stream to i to instagram as well and then they go to my instagram and they see three posts and they're like what, what are you doing <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just trying. I'm just, you know, I want to YouTube. This is why I call it YouTube Elementary because there are people who really know how to do the damn thing, mm -hmm. and it's obvious that uh, that Larry Reed is one of them. So shout out to Larry Reed, and again, man, thank you, uh, thank you so much. It's interesting too because I mentioned, I mentioned that uh, uh, somebody from Instagram sent me a clip yesterday about two men talking bad about me and they were talking bad about me in relation to Larry Reed. So it's, it's super weird. So the day that he shows up in my stream, uh, it's, 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 it's super interesting. Having said that, you know, to go back to, to kind of what we were picking at about rush, uh, rush ribbons, it's hard out here, man. You gotta, you gotta have a little thick skin because people are absolutely going to come at you. They're absolutely going to get you. But on the other side, you get people like uh, Larry, people in our community who will just hold you up. They will absolutely hold you up. Uh, going back to what the attendant physician said, well, how much do you, how many subscribers do you need to afford $600? Well, if you get six subscribers like Larry, you might just need six. Or if you're waiting on AdSense, you might need 6,000, right? So, you know, it, it it really seems like it's more about the community. And I think Larry co-signed that. Larry said, yeah, you're going to get more of a community feel if you go live versus if you're trying to make these standalone 12-minute videos, which you can make a lot of money on, you know? Shout out to Mr. Beast and all these, you know, the huge white YouTubers making 12-minute videos and getting millions, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, right? You don't really see them going live and they're killing the game. But, you know, for us, if you really want that community, man, you have a live stream and uh, you can you can really you can really develop your your own tribe, as white people like to say. Right. Find your tribe. Right. So uh, shout out to Larry Reed. Thank you so much. It was super, super generous. Larry Reed, the current sponsor of this uh, of this of this live stream. Thank you, Larry. Uh, just quickly. Let me get. um let me get, uh, what do we got? We got Keisha, Keisha, Keisha Colon. That's a name for you. The Britney Spears video could get more views if the title suggests other content is included, such as the Freestyle Friday panel that came on. This is interesting. So Keisha's like, okay, your, your Britney Spears video didn't get a lot of views, but maybe you could have fashioned the metadata. Maybe you could have fashioned the, uh, the title. I'll give it to you if you say the thumbnail was weak. The thumbnail was weak. Um, maybe it could have gotten more views. Having said that, though, I will say, Keisha, look at the panel right now. Do you know what you see? What you see? What the panel is? You see Larry, who just blessed me. What do we? We all got that one thing in common, right? We all, we all, and 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 Brittany didn't really fit in. Brittany didn't really fit in with the with the scheme, right? So may that's what I'm going to attribute it to. You're right, you know, probably all of my metadata could have been better, the description could have been better, the title. Your points are well taken. I'm gonna say it's because she's white. <laughs> but uh, but I appreciate I appreciate your comment because I, I do think it's true. And that thumbnail is weak as hell. That thumbnail is weak. Some uh, shout out to El Guapa who mentioned Fiverr. I look at Red uh, Rebed, Rebuilding Black Wall Street's thumbnails, they're excellent. And I'm like, how are you doing this? He's like, man, I pay $5 for him. Like, what? Yeah, he gets people on Fiverr to pay and, and they'll do his thumbnails. The, guys, this book, this book right here, I don't know if you guys caught it, The YouTube Formula by Daryl Eves. This is the book that, uh, this, the, the guy who wrote this book is behind Mr. Beast and behind all these other humongous white YouTubers. Billions of views, this guy wrote this book. 
he was like, thumbnails are number one, man. I don't, you know, number one. Your content, it needs to be good. Fair enough. If your thumbnail is weak, it don't even matter. Right? So thumbnails are huge. And Rebuilding Black Wall Street, he gets uh, graphic designers to do, or people on Fiverr, to do his thumbnails. He's doing it the right way. He's absolutely doing it the right way. So uh, shout out to Keisha. I think you're right about this. I do also think that she's white, though. <laughs> and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure how many how many people in our community, how many people in this space are checking for Britney Spears. I will say that. But I don't know. You could be right, too. I need to investigate. I need to, but thank you so much for the comment and the super chat. Rams is, Rams is seven, always supporting your boy. What does Rams say? Have anyone check on Kevin? He hasn't been live recently. Really? Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I can't, you know, people complain about my videos because they're seven hours long, eight hours long. And then I'm like, stop complaining. And then they'll say, lead attorney. Did you watch Kevin Samuels live stream? I was like, no, they're three hours long. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I can't, I can't sit through it either. So when you guys complain about my seven hour live streams, I get it. I get it. Cause I can't watch them either. I will say this though. Recently, I've started to help you guys out. I've started to put chapters. Do you guys know what chapters are? Chapters, if I have a seven-hour live stream, I put little segments. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. Just go to any segment that you want and just watch the segment. Some of you watch my live streams when you're at work. Some of you watch them when you're at the road. It's like chapters in a book. So now you know where you left off more or less, right? It's better than just a whole four hours with no chapters. So guys, you want to, I'm going to give you two tips. The first tip is for you. The first tip is the chapters. I'm going to give you a second tip. This is going to hurt me, but I'm telling you because I love you. Watch my streams in double speed. Just watch them in double speed. If you watch my streams in double speed, they're going to be so much easier. Uh, I can't watch it. Shout out to O'Shea Dude Jackson. He put me on. You think I'm listening to O'Shea's videos in one speed? I don't know how you guys do it. I can't sit through that. But in two, if I do it in double speed, to me, it's the, it's, his videos are perfect. I can watch every single one, all eight of them that he produces every single day. But I got to do it in double speed. If you are watching the lead attorney's videos on one speed, you're you're making a mistake. You're enjoying it. You're, right? you're just you got your popcorn there. But if you want to speed it up, watch it in 1.75, 1.5. Watch it in two speed. Uh, that's a that's a that's a user tip for you. And then we got uh, we got Evo. Shout out to Evo with a twenty dollars super sticker, man. That is uh, that is uh, that's generous. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. This uh, Mr. Sue said the lead attorney is petty. What did I say that was petty? I didn't say anything that was petty. You're right. I am a little petty, but I, I don't remember what I said that was uh petty. All right, uh, let's go to Big Time Drums. Thank you for being uh. Thank you for being so patient. I had Tommy Sotomayor on, and I was reading the Super Chats. He almost blew up. <laughs> he did not like me reading the Super Chats, boy. He almost had a stroke on this damn show. Uh, it, it took everything in his power to contain himself. He was hurting me reading the, su the Super Chats. All right, so we got big time drum. Mike in the house. How are you doing? I'm doing good, lead attorney. Uh, fantastic. Do you have a uh, YouTube channel yourself? Yes, I do. It's uh, Big Time Drum, as the uh, name says right there. Perfect. Why yep. don't you tell us a little bit about your channel? Well, uh, pretty much what my channel is about is obviously, you know, hence the name, Big Time Drum, which is drumming and music. And uh, I share about my life also. And, uh, and I share a bit of commentary, you know, on things that I feel like I want to share my opinion on. Generally, I try to stick more on music than on politics and, and any other, um, you know, subject matter. But uh, awesome. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. How long have you had your YouTube channel? Um, I've had it for, I, I, I want to say three or four years. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Are you are you liking how often do you upload? Well, lately I've been kind of uploading like either once or twice a week. And by the way, I want to debunk a couple of uh points if you don't mind me uh doing that. 
Please do. Please do. Okay. First of all, um, as far as, you know, with YouTube, and I'm just sharing my experience. And by the way, you know, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, first of all, let me just say this, that it's not as simple as people may see or think it is because Facts. number one, I, I, I really have to debunk this because number one, it's all about the content. And let me be very specific in, in saying uh, about the content. Meaning, give, give me one second. Hold that thought. Remember what you're going to say. Donna said, didn't the lady come up there before him? She did. That's my fault. Yes. She did. I forgot. because she, she did, but then she got kicked off and then I brought her back on. But I, okay. I, I that's my fault. I apologize to you, Paula. Uh, Donna is exactly right. So keep going. Keep going, Big My Drum. But you're right. I apologize. Okay. Okay. Um, I talk about music and obviously with my content, you see me playing to songs, playing in concerts, blah, 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 blah. blah. And that's my niche. I stick to my niche. Mm -hmm. And because of what my niche is, as far as getting the subscribers, it takes a while because it, you know, it's, it's basically just a, a thing of, I'm just one video away from it going viral, mm -hmm. right? Now, versus your channel, the reason why it's blowing up the way it's blowing up because you're talking about current events. You're yes. talking about things that is happening as of current, okay? And, and I see the things that you're talking about generally are hot topics, but because of you being the lead attorney, it gives you a, 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 an advantage because you bring two points of views. You bring your point of view and you bring the point of view from the lead attorney. So, you know, it makes it more interesting to listen to because, you know, when you speak about, you know, these things and I hear you talking about it from a lawyer's point of view, you know, that makes me go, wow, I didn't know that, you know, right. or sometimes it helps for me to understand maybe I need to go about things this way because the lead attorney said it from, you know, a lawyer's perspective. So now it has me thinking, man, now I need to go about it this way. You see? That's a good point. So yeah. not only you're giving life lessons, but you're giving uh, should I say cheap legal advice? <laughs> okay. Yes, which is how my channel started off. You're exactly right. <laughs> right. So, 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 therefore, my thing is, um, I just want to say to everyone, you know, if you want to start a YouTube channel, go ahead and start it. Um, but just know that the content, and not so much, you know, how you film it, because to be perfectly honest majority of my videos lately guess what i use this exactly right exactly but again it's the content and 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 here's here's a here's a good case in point right uh because of uh i remember there was something that you were talking about as far as content a few moments ago okay so i have a video that i talked about um what t-pain went on a rant on now I never used his actual video um, because of what you're saying with the whole copyright strikes. So instead of doing that, I talked about it. But because I talked about it, I got views and I got people commenting. Yes. Yes. Right? Guys, listen, what he's saying is the absolute truth. However, watch this. Here's the flip side of that. The only thing with that video is this. Three, four months after that, nobody's going to care or watch that video ever again. Three, four months. What? Yeah. Three, four days. <laughs> in my, in, in, in my, right, in my right, experience, right. it's three or four days and your exactly. video's done. Yes. Exactly. However, however, but I will say this um, because I remember one time you were talking about this and I wanted to also just say this to you in your defense when you talk about 
you know, things that are lawyer related and divorce and all this other stuff, there is an advantage to it. Because just like with myself and you that we talk about things or I might do things like I might play a song or something or anything to do with music, in the long run, you know, it still continues to get views in years to come. Just like if you're talking about, you know, uh, things to do with uh, divorce, you know, and child and, 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 and moms and dads and marriage and whatever, in the long run, you know, it gets views. It might get views on a slower, but guess what? Slow and steady wins the race. Facts on you. Yes, man, man. Mike is dropping knowledge. YouTube, don't don't come in here thinking like me, like I'm going to put up a couple of videos and blow up. It wasn't like that at all. <laughs> it's no. slow and steady. You're exactly, exactly. right. So, 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 so what I'm saying here is there is a, there's a balance, right? But at the same time, again, I still go back to the point of it's about the content that you're putting out that will determine how you succeed and how quickly you succeed. Also, at the same time, it will also depend on the audience that you're trying to attract. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to debunk one point of view, okay? Mm -hmm. You had a guy uh, who obviously, you know, I was in, you know, I was making the joke, man, you need to Frank cancel that dude, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I want to debunk that point of view because here's the thing. I am a professional musician of 30 something years have played with the best and the worst. And I have toured and I'm still touring. Wow. And one thing I can tell you from touring around the world is this, okay? Money talks, bullshit walks in any part of the world you go to, True. right? So when he's saying, well, you know, um, you could do the work, and then you know um you could pay them later i don't think so yeah i don't think so and if he's saying that happens in other parts well guess what guess how far those people are getting right. they ain't gotten too far you're right okay you're right no, so i just wanted you... to talk that point of view you know anyways i just wanted to debunk that point of view no problem. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, big Time Drum, a.k.a. Yes, Mike. You see it right there. Uh, I think already somebody just uh, – shout out to Tim. Tim's on it, man. Tim already dropped your link, uh, the link to your channel in the chat. All right? Thanks so much. So thank you so much, Tim, and thank you so much, Mike, for coming on and uh, dropping yes, that wisdom, so dropping that knowledge on us, okay? Yes, thank sir. you. All right. You have a All great right. day. One love. All right, let me pull up uh, Sam right quick. Also, <laughs> talk about patient. Uh, Paula, first of all, Paula was on uh, a, another stream, a recent stream, and she was about to talk, and then her connection died, right? And But I was ending the stream. Then just now she was on again, and her connection dropped, and she comes back on, but then I skip her. Why did I skip her, guys? I wish you guys could see the layout that I have in the back. It's like 12 squares and she was square number four and she had made it all the way up to number four but then her connection dropped when she when i pulled her back up she was number 12 again right so i pulled her i saw her being number 12 so i pulled her up but then i just looked at who was next in line so that's why i, I skipped paula it was completely uh completely unintentional so i apologize about that paula so paula <laughs> You're finally yes. here. Finally here. Finally. Oh, give yes. me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Right? It's, all, it's always something, Paula. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Cigar Talk. Supporting your boy all through this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cigar Talk. Really appreciate it. What does Cigar, Cigar Talk says? Say, my wife and daughter are Dominican born. Most of the YouTubers in DR live in tourist areas <clears throat> known for mongering and give a false narrative on the Dominican women and culture. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I don't think an American black man can re really ever fully understand the Dominican 
culture, right? Especially if you don't speak Spanish. Most of the guys that most of our guys that go down there, you know, we have a little bit of Spanish, but it's not it's not like they're Spanish. And so shout out to shout out to Taylor May Dreams. He'd be like, yeah, you're dating a girlfriend and you go over to the girlfriend's house and she's got the mother and the father and the brother and the cousin and they're all sitting down and y'all are all eating. You don't even know that her cousin is not her cousin. Her cousin is really her boyfriend. But the family has told you that the cousin is the cousin when really it's the boyfriend, but you don't speak Spanish enough to know that the boyfriend is the cousin and not the boyfriend. So y'all are all breaking bread at the same table and his girl, your girlfriend and her boyfriend are sitting right there at the same table playing footsie and you're thinking that that's your girl, right? So shout out to Cigar Talk. It's true, a lot of us go down there and we fall into some traps because we don't really know the layout of the land. We can't speak the language. We don't know the culture. So uh, I think you're absolutely right about that. It would be hard for us to really fully engage. Now, there are some black men down there that have been married, that are married down there. They've been living down there 15 years. They're fluent Spanish. They know what the deal is. But you know, if this is your third time down there and you're only spending two weeks and you're down there and you don't speak Spanish, I think you're absolutely right, Cigar Talk. So thank you so much uh, for that. I think you're absolutely right. Um, okay, Paula, sorry about that. Uh, so <laughs> I am glad that you are here. What, what do you think? Uh, Me too. Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know we've been having some problems. Yeah, a lot to say. Yeah. So uh, do you have a YouTube channel? I do have a YouTube channel. I started it about a year ago, but oh, I perfect. just recently made a commitment to like go all in on it, like in the last couple weeks. Excellent. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what your uh, what your channel is about? So I have a 26 year old daughter who has autism mm. and a couple other special needs. And people have been telling me for years, you need a book, you need to write a book, you need to help other moms. Because for whatever reason, people say, I don't look like I have a special needs child, which I'm like, what does that mean? Isn't that crazy? That like crazy. you would, uh, people say, you would never know you have. And I think what it is, is because a lot of moms get so bogged down in the caretaking that they really lose themselves and they really don't have a life outside of that. Yes. So what I want to do is bring like support and encouragement and kind of some of the things that I have done, you know, that makes my life full. That's just a part of my life, although I'm all in. So I want to share that with other moms. So it's kind of hard when you're doing it to figure out what did I do? Because mm -hmm. I just thought everybody did that. And everybody's like, no, everybody doesn't do that. Mm. So that's what it's about. Um, so that is my niche. I was a little scared to niche down, but I hear everybody saying that's the way to go. That's the way to go. You know, it's kind of absolutely. Hard absolutely. But first things first, I want to thank you for doing this because oh, this you. is like a huge blessing to anybody that will really take this on and really like listen to what you're saying. I watched your other two videos about growing a YouTube channel. Oh, stuff. thank you. Almost nobody watched them. Nobody's watching. No, I, I want to so know. Well, that. because it's, it's nice to see the progression when people go from, you know, 20 pounds. I have like 20 mm. hours. So please, everybody, please go subscribe to my channel. And yes. if you know someone who has a special needs child, you know, feel free, share it, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. And AT alien, again, she's asking for your, what's the name? She says, Oh my gosh, I need her page. My oldest oh, son has autism. And I am oh, we got to talk. Yeah. My page is Paula McNair. I think they had it up. I did. I will. Put yeah. Tim link just dropped it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Paula Thank McNair you, unapologetic is what I'm um, calling it. But, um, so when I came on the other day, I wanted to talk to you about the divorce situation. There's an 80% divorce rate with parents who have a special needs child. Wow. I bet yeah, too. 80, I bet. 80%. I bet. So I want to do a series on divorce and I want you to um, come on my channel. Do it. I emailed you about it, but um, that is that. I would but love to. Okay. We got to hook up. I emailed I you. So to. I'll email you again. Yeah. When and then I'm also me? LRL uh, a couple weeks ago, like probably... A couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I would love to. It's a, it's a huge. Well, it's did a I respond to it? And actually, I just no, you didn't. And I just went through a divorce after being married twenty eight years. So. Twenty eight years. Yeah. You know what? Shout out to Jen. Jen came on here, and uh, Jen was like uh, on the block with Jen, and uh, she was like, she was just talking, and she was like, yeah, you know, because my daughter's twenty eight. And everybody was like, what? Because she looked 28 herself. 
<laughs> you do not look like you could have been married for 28 years. I was a Listen, child bride. No, these black not. women are holding up. <laughs> black don't crack. You know, right? Bro. These black women are holding up, man. It, 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 it looks impossible that, that you would have been married for 28 years. My goodness. 28 years. Yeah. I'll be uh, 51 in a couple weeks. 51. Listen, guys, what are you talking about? You are easily yeah. looking at so you look 34 to me all day long. Oh, all day gosh. long. See, and now people are gonna be like, oh, lead attorney simping. Right? <laughs> Rush. This is the no. life, man. This is no, say listen. anything, and people are gonna come at you. Say it's anything. It's so funny you say that because when I tell my other children, I have three children that people mm -hmm. tell me, like, oh, you look 38, 35. They're like, are they white? I'm like, no, they weren't white. Oh, I'm like, no, white. they weren't white. Somebody black said it. Somebody okay. black, right? Somebody yeah, wrong. Right. Okay. Yeah. We we but hold yeah, up. We, we absolutely yeah. hold up. So yeah, how long I, how long have you said you've been on YouTube? So I've had I've been on a year, but I just started um like really trying to get a lot of more information so I can grow my channel, so I can be effective. Because it is discouraging when you put video out there. And nobody watches it or you know because i'm at like 20 subscribers right now oh and my so goodness so it's it's discouraging you know but it's like you know what i what i say to myself now what i did is if i can just help one mom yes you know what i mean if i can just help one mom not give up not lose herself not want to commit suicide not want you know so i'm i'm looking at it like that because i do need to it, it i'm very passionate about it and I know that I'm called to do that. So it's really important to me. I think that is perfect. Well, thank you so much. Listen, I'm sorry, guys. I just noticed the time. I've got a uh, consultation at four at five o'clock. I'm going to get to everybody, everybody who's waited. But we might have to go to like a, a lightning round, a lightning round. But I do want to get uh, Paula on. Paula, so what what are some of the things that you've learned just quickly, you know, over So what this I've year? learned now, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do now is go on twice a week live because mm. that's been my biggest problem. Like like you said, editing the videos, <sighs> just, I mean, because you shoot a video and then it's like you need three hours to edit it. So exactly. now I'm just going to go live uh, twice a week. I'm going to go live on YouTube and TikTok because TikTok is, you get a lot of movement with TikTok. That's what I heard. Um, so that's what I'm going to do is just go live say what i'm gonna say and and then just work with the meta and the tags and that kind of thing once the video is done on my live and just go from there because when i because i you start thinking about what am i going to produce i need to have it edited i need to add this to it it's too much and you You're just won't exactly get it done right you are you just exactly won't get it right done. so that is the my big takeaway from today is going live just the S. And I am a and I am a LRLer. So Larry Reed, he's he's oh, always yeah. like, shout out to Larry like, Reed. Yeah. Shout out to Larry. Yeah. Shout out to Larry Reed. Always supporting your boy. So um yeah. Well, listen. Thank you so much for coming I'm on. I'm gonna email you. Please do. At Elliot. At Elliot. I'm gonna email her too. At Elliot said she just subscribed to you. So thank you Hi. so much. All Good looking right? out. Good looking All out. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Paula. Right. Please come so back. We'll anytime. talk soon. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Right. Oh, bye bye. Mm -hmm. bye, -bye. All right. All right. We got JT Coin rings in the house. And again, guys, I'm sorry. We're going to we're gonna kind of do a little speed round here, but I want to get to everybody. Liz, I'm going to let you in. You're the last person in, though. No one, no one else. The back is closed because I need to, I got a consultation in a few minutes. All right. We got JT Coin Rings. JT Coin Rings in the house. Always supporting your boy, too. Tell us a little bit about your channel. Lead attorney. I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be on your channel. I, I follow. I'm always inside the comments. Um, yeah, soaking up all the me. that you um you give. Um, one thing I learned about your channel, I love about your channel, is that you do this right here. Mm, you, thank you give you. back to the community. You don't know how much you give back by allowing people to use your platform and to just to share ideas, to talk about points that you want to make. That's real big, and that's one way to get people the um, confidence. And also the experience that they need to start their own channel. So I, I salute you. Oh, and I, thank you. And I, and I thank you for what you do um, on these YouTube streets. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much, JT for a reason. Again, you are always, like you say, you're always on the channel, always in my chat, always supporting me monetarily uh, with great comments and everything. So thank right. you so much. Tell us a little bit about your channel. Well, my name is JT Corn Rings. I'm here in Baltimore. Uh, what I do is I, I talk about precious metals, um, silver, gold, and I turn them into rings. 
Wow. You know, so I turned precious metals, um, silver and gold coins to rings. Um, I started this channel some time ago. I started my YouTube channel some years ago, but I started putting content um, maybe, a, maybe a year and a half to two years ago. And I love this, the precious metal community so much. Um, I started JT Coin Rings. Um, and I also do a lot of collabs. So I know that you have you short for time. So I just want to give some of my tips on what I learned um, to get my 1,700 subscribers on YouTube and what I'm planning to do in the future to continue to um, to grow. So, Fantastic. Yes. So what oh, I said, Lizzie said she just subscribed to you. Thank you so much, Lizzie. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. um, what I suggest is collaborate. Um, doing things like this, collaborate, gives people an opportunity to um, to get on a platform and share what they do. Just like you just did me. Opportunities to talk about precious metals and the rings that I make. Um, I collaborate. Um, later on this evening, I'm talking about a book called The Hidden Cost of Being African American. Um, this book um, is I'm a book club that I uh, collaborate with another channel, the Dr. Maat channel, and we talk about books every month or till we read it. So that's one thing that I think we should do, collaborate, because it helps us to grow and helps our communities to cross to get to know new communities. Um, live stream. Um, I do live streams um, for like a year straight with my friend Eli. It's called Silver Talk. And we was a bunch of black dudes sitting in our living room talking about precious metals uh, because a lot of people in our community don't may not, may not know about gold and silver prices. So right. the live stream gave me gave us opportunity to do what we're doing right now. People to talk, ask questions, and we can share right on, on a spot. Um, the next thing is be consistent. Yes. Um, that's one thing that I haven't been doing um, in my la in the last three months because I'm going through a divorce myself. Oh, so no. the biggest thing is um, consistency. Um, so I'm getting back on that that horse on Monday to start my my uh, my two um, two um, videos a week. And then I also do IG, um, YouTube, TikTok, and take advantage of the shorts. Because mm. even if you don't have a five minute, 10 minute video, if you do a short, it gives people opportunity to see what you're about and it may help drive some, some traction to your channel. Also, IG, um, I got 1,700 um, subscribers on YouTube, I got 2,000 followers on oh, IG because awesome. I learned to cross and those little posts helps uh, build um, attention as well. So do TikTok because I do the same thing in TikTok. Little 10 to 15 second clips helps people to know about JT Corn Ring. So those three things, collaborate, live stream, consistency. And I want to bring a point that um, the C Seattle Black Veteran did in your, in your chat. He made a point. He said, slow motion is better than no motion. And I, so that's my nice. point. Lead attorney, thank you so much for allowing me to, on the platform. I hope this won't be the last time. I'm a member, so I'll be here every month. I'm supporting. Perfect. The thank you so much. You always, you always, always supporting me. And I see you in the chat all the time. Please come up more often. Please okay. come up more often. So thank you so much for, for telling all of us about um your channel black people need to know more about these right. precious metals uh one, one more thing go ahead mm -hmm. one thing to paula uh, my daughter works at kennedy krieger and she works with kids with special needs um she's going to school to, to major in special education so i i know she, she, she she'll look at your channel she loves the kids she loves this um this this field that she's um entering in so the special needs community um, definitely needs our support. And when a mother talks about the pain and what's needed, it's definitely um, good that we get the education so we can tell our family members and help them through the situation. Perfect. Thank you so, so much, JT Corey Reeves. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This, I mean, we just got so many strong people in our community. So many people who know about certain, so many different things, right? Because how many black people really know about precious metals? You know, you hear all these white people talking about, hey, man, it's time to get time to buy gold. You hear all these white people talking about it's time to buy silver. Right. But, you know, we might have a gold necklace. <laughs> right? We don't really know about the prices and anything like that. All right. So here's the thing. Let me shout a quick, quick shout out to uh, the Closure Clinic. Closure. It's, it's a it's a tug twister. 
the kosher clinician. Shout out to the kosher clinician. He tore it up. He came in on the last live. It absolutely he tore the whole day up. They got he killed the live stream. Uh, what did he say? Once again, your work and support is merited. No thumbnail cap. Shout out to him, man. I, I had to call him out. He stole my damn thumbnail. He no, he restole, he stole my damn thumbnail on my Bill Cosby video. Look at my video. Look at my Bill Cosby video and his Bill Cosby video. He he he, he straight bit it. He straight bit it. Shout out to the coach of uh, And he admitted it too. That's how you know he's a stand up guy. You know, he he was like, yeah, he didn't admit it like he should have. He should have been like, okay, leader attorney, I stole your shit. He didn't say it like that. He was like, well, I was highly influenced by it, right? <laughs> I was highly influenced, but he admitted it. Shout, shout out to the coach of clinician. And my vivid life, please. All right. Please, please, please. Somebody drop my vivid. My vivid life. Are you a moderator? Can you drop this stuff? You definitely need to be one. Oh my goodness. And uh also shout out to Yimmy. Yimmy with the pal. She sent me in uh an email. Guys, listen, here's the problem that we're faced with. All right. We got one, two, three, four. We got five people in in line. And I've got about 10 minutes. So we can do one of two things. We can squeeze everybody in right now, or I can come back at about in a, in about an hour and a half. All right. And we can just keep this going. Uh, because I want everybody to have their say, especially because you know Sim and Cash Flow, Joe, you guys have waited so damn long. You know, I don't want, I don't want it. You waited so long, and then I'm like, okay, what do you have to say in two minutes, right? Uh, so I, I feel bad about that, but I do have uh, some consults to do. So uh, well, we'll just we'll we'll see where it goes. But I, I got to leave pretty soon. I don't know what you guys prefer that I start this up again. Uh, but <laughs> Seattle said, I just need two minutes. All right. All right. Uh, the steward says, come back. Sharon says, come back. Maybe I'll come back, but we'll, we'll see what we got. Sam. Yeah. Uh, so what, what do you think about this? Do you have a YouTube channel? Hello, everyone. Hey, I do have a YouTube channel. It's uh, Sim Sia. So, Shout out to Sim. What's your, what's your channel about? So my, my channel is about my personal finance journey. So Oh, awesome. Throughout my, I'm originally from South Africa, right? So mm -hmm. I've been here since 93, but I've been in Raleigh. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I've discovered a lot and I've been curious about finance in general. And so I've spent most of my time trying to figure out how to really make it in America in order to live the American dream. Mm -hmm. So my, my channel is about really just tapping into the, the small incremental opportunities for you to, to capture your wealth or capture opportunities for you to make money. So it's about personal finance, essentially retirement investing and really just understanding a, a, the slow path to becoming wealthy. And that's what essentially it is. And it's chronicling some of the, the discoveries that I'm making throughout my journey. And it's given me an opportunity to share with my future heirs of my future generation about what my journey entailed, but it's, it's not just strictly finance talk, but it's everything from the things that I do for fun, you know, while I'm on my personal finance journey and what they cost me and what they, uh, what kind of value they add to my life. Gotcha. That's what's up. Well, listen, I want to get to everybody. So, uh, is Tim or if somebody could drop the, the link to, uh, Sim's channel, but I'm going to come back. And if, if, when I come back, if you're still around, I'll pull you up for a much fuller explanation okay so i'm sorry to rush it through i did want to shout out to uh shout out to my vivid life man do you know what my vivid life said you, guys there there are some guys like me who like short women she said she's five foot you know how hard it is to find a woman who's five foot even that's difficult to do she ain't gonna beat raven right shout out to raven raven's four seven i don't think anybody's gonna read four seven beat four seven but uh my vivid life she's, she's certainly trying all right, so thank you so much, Sim. And please, if you're around, please come back. All right, I just I just have to I have to run real quick. All right, we got my man Cash Flow Hustles in the house. Oh, Walker. Okay, Walker's yeah. Walker's doing it. Cash Flow Hustles. Uh, Cash Cash Flow Hustles. Uh, tell us a little bit about your channel, right quick. 
Uh, well, you know, I came on there before because I was deep off into your YouTube elementary thing uh -huh. you know, before. So, I, I, you know, we, we had chopped it up before. And I'm just basically do I just do entrepreneurial stuff, businesses, affiliate marketing, digital marketing, online marketing, credit repair. I'm just doing entrepreneurial hustles. So that's why it's with, with a plural. But I, Hustles, I just wanna, okay. Yeah. I just want to do the little quick thing. I had a whole list of stuff, but since you got a time constraint. But just I come have, back. Yeah, yeah if, what, if you're able to do that. I can't do that. But what, what I'll do is I'll do one thing. Okay. That's the most important on your list. And I, the other stuff, I'll come at another time. Okay, the perfect. One thing I wanted to focus on was the point out of many was the collaboration point. Mm. Very important that I want to announce. So what I'm doing, you, know, you remember when that guy uh, said something about getting the group and the mastermind and blah, 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 and all of that? Mm -hmm. And you were saying about it's another headache, it's another responsibility, which is true. It's more on your plate, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing, I already have a group that already exists. It's super small, but it does the same thing. And mine is it's a Facebook group. And mine mm. is a social media uh, marketing alliance. So awesome. for the purposes of collaboration, in the spirit of what that dude said, because I, I disagree strongly with what he said. You remember the dude that want the free stuff? Yeah, he wanted the free I stuff. I was yelling at the screen about that. <laughs> like, yeah. But I won't even go into that subject. But that's crazy. But what he did bring up was a group where every the collaborators in the platform can organize and orchestrate stuff mm -hmm. that they're going to do for their different channels. So I'm inviting folks. True, true enough, come, go to my YouTube channel and all that type of stuff. Watch the YouTube. But for group collaborations, go to the Facebook group. Awesome. And I don't know how to put this link in, how this link stuff work, whatever it is. Or I just put it on my thing. But it's Social Media uh, Marketing Alliance. And that's Perfect. where we form an alliance of social media marketers, contributors, YouTubers, TikTok, blah, blah, whatever, whatever. And you can orchestrate and organize what you're going to do, the collaboration. So Perfect. I don't know how to do this link thing or whatever this stuff I don't is. Either. Or whatever. I mean, uh, you know, but it, just just type or, or you can just go to my channel. And I'll do a, a video over there about Social Media Marketing Alliance and focus on collaboration. We, you keep hearing collaboration, right? Yeah. No, you're exactly right. Even Daryl Leaf talked about it. The reason my channel is as big as what it is is because of collaboration. Exactly. Like no, no one knows collaboration more than me because uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson really put my whole channel on the map. Exactly. So it's, it's, it's important. No, exactly. so you're, you're absolutely so right. We definitely need to look into group. that. Go to that Facebook group where we can organize in a systematic way on different niches, blah, 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 the whole nine yards. But together, we, we, can, we can do this. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Thank you so much, Cash Flow Hustles yes. with the S, plural, yes. multiple streams of income. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. And uh, yes. hopefully, I, I know you might not be here when I come back, but hopefully another yes. time when you see me, please jump on the panel. I'll be back later some other time. Yes, sir. Thank you so All much. Right. Thanks a lot, man. All right. All right, we got my man Joe in the house. Man, we have not had Joe in the house in so long. My man Joe been chilling. <laughs> Joe, how you been? Listen, we only got two. We only got two no, minutes. No, because no, no, I know. Okay. I'm coming back though, man. You know, I'm oh, please back. do, please do. But I just, you know, I just gotta give my shout outs, man. You know me, give man. Give a give a quick shout out. You know who I'm gonna shout out to? Who am I shout out to? Roof, roof hustle, something man, like that. Chill, roof. <laughs> Well, there is a roof hustles too. Yeah, oh, really? Okay, who, who's he down who? in what's it called? But a Wall Street Trapper. Wall Street Trapper, that's right. Yeah. Shout out! Uh, I'm putting his thing in the chat right now. Wall Street Trapper. All yeah, right. Wall Street Trapper, and we'll shout out uh, Black Girl Stocks. Black Girl Stocks. Okay, shout out to the Black Girls. We got a couple down here. Man, she's fine as hell. Okay, Don't hey, tell her I said that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What else we got, Joe? Shout yeah, out to yeah, 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 Corey. Blind guy and his wife. Man, yes, shout out show, to man. man. They kill it. They man, kill it. They shout show, out. Thanks for putting me on over there, man. Joe, you are you are all in these streets, and everybody loves you, man. Yeah, man. You support, Thank you, man. Thank you, you for support us. Over there, man. I really, I really, uh, you support I really all of us. Yeah, uh, Miss Gail. Yeah. Oh, come what on. Up, shout Corey? out to Gail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Gail. <laughs> Miss Patrice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Joe, listen, come back. Okay. You're going to be around. You ain't got nothing to do. Yeah, come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll see you soon, Joe. All right. And now we got Kosher Clinic, the Kosher, the Kosher Clinician. Shout out to the Kosher Clinician who tore the stream up. Everybody was, everybody was loving the Kosher Clinician. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I can hear you, God. Thank you once again, man. It was a pleasure and an honor. I've been getting so much positive feedback. This is definitely a journey. Uh, I'm going to do a show on you at some point, so be on standby. No, no thumbnail cap. So, but, uh, but, <laughs> but on the real, you know, I, I, man, I love what you're doing, man. You, you, you personify the essence of a Pisces, man. Very giving, man. Big heart. You know, uh, you Thank know, you. and I really love what you're doing, man. You know, I look forward to the collaboration. Um, but more or less, I look forward to empowering our people. There's a crisis in this world, the lead attorney, and mental health is something that needs to be addressed. Yes. And so as a, as a licensed clinical therapist, I decided to take this journey, but also I decided to take this journey to empower black men. So, man, I'm so excited. I got a big boost, man, from you. Thank you again, brother. And I promise you, you're going to benefit from this um, because I love the collaboration that you're doing with brothers. And your heart is pure. Some men are in this for money. They don't really give a damn about the brotherhood. It is about themselves. But I know that you are genuine because I've tested you in so many ways, not in a bad way. If you've proven yourself to be a stand up brother, man. So salute to you. Shout out to you. And I also it's going to start giving consultations. So tell them to check me out. Lead attorney at kosher clinician at Gmail dot com for clinical consultation, non diagnostic clinical consultations, as I am a licensed clinical therapist. And I also I'm a former special ed teacher. So the young lady, Paula, tell us she want to get in contact with me. Maybe we can do a show about special ed and, uh, and I can help her out as well because I did teach special ed in the past. So thank wow. you again, brother. And uh, and this, you know, give them the link about uh, the coach clinician at gmail.com. We can actually do some collaborations on, um, on on mental health because that's something that's needed the most in our community. We can talk about everything else, but mental health is, is paramount in the black community. It needs to be addressed. And unfortunately, it's not being addressed. And unfortunately, a lot of men are suffering in silence. And so we want to make sure we calibrate their schema. We want to make sure we calibrate their mindset so they can get um, more or less eradicate some of those negative thinking thoughts, thinking patterns that currently have. So once again, shout out, brother. And I appreciate it, man. I really do. Facts. Thank you so much. And again, man, can, I, I'm glad you got I'm glad you got uh, support from the last live stream because you 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 fucking earned it. I mean, you you came oh, no here doubt. and you killed it. You came here. Oh, you, get, you were you were giving us that work, right? <laughs> they got that work. And guess what? They, it's, it's not over, man. Like I said, man. I know you could go. I got to go. But listen, yeah, if, 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 you, if you see me, if you see me just uh, when this afternoon or this when I come back, just please come back on and I'll give you more. I will, time. Brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Perfect. Sir. No problem. All right. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. Man, we had two beautiful. Uh, we had two beautiful black women. Shout out to Twan. Shout out to Twan in the house. Twan Burgess. Oh, I should have read it. Uh, it's like, oh, they fine. Yeah. Two beautiful black women. But then they disappeared. Um, so I wish they were here. I was going to close the show out with them, but listen, I got to go guys. I got uh, a couple consultations, but then I'm going to come back. I'll come back in about an hour and a half and, uh, we'll keep doing this. Even though only 200 people are watching, we're giving this information. I'm letting you guys know some of the mistakes that I made, how, you know, when I, when I went to Mexico for these two weeks, it just killed my channel. You know, some of you didn't see the, the charts that I showed in the beginning, but just, you know, very quickly, take a look at this. Uh, let me let me show you my views right quick. These are these are charts from my from my channel. These are my views, right? I was getting you know three thirty thousand views in a day, fifteen thousand views in a day. You know, on this day I got you know what's that? Maybe forty thousand views in a day. Look what happened when I went to Mexico. I went to Mexico for two weeks and stopped posting. My stuff almost went down to zero, right? Almost went down to zero. Take a look at this. Um, look at my watch hours. These are my watch hours. It looks the same way, you know, on this day on in July 14th, uh, people watch me for 7,000 hours on this day. It looks like it's more like 10,000. This day, people looked at me like 15,000 hours when I went to Mexico. It, I mean, it like two hours. It was going to zero. Right. The same thing with my subscribers. Um, you know, on this day, you know, I was getting 500 subscribers a day. This day, I got a little bit more over 500 this day. This is like six, 675 subscribers in a day. When I went to Mexico, look how it dropped off, right? What is this telling you? This is telling you that you cannot depend on your catalog. You cannot depend on your on the videos that you did three weeks ago. YouTube does not care about what you did in the past. You got to keep going. Consistency is key with YouTube. I did not know it was going to do this. Now, I took, a, I took a vacation last month, kind of vacation kind of was, and I, went, I had to go down to Florida, and my stuff dropped. And I was like, oh, maybe that's a one-off. I did it again. I had to go to Mexico this month. 
I mean, my whole channel was going to zero, right? And now it's just starting to pick back up. And if you know, you can tell where it starts to pick back up now that I'm back, right? Now that I got back today or this day, and now it's starting to come back up. So this was huge, guys. This is a lesson for you to learn. But that's the whole point of this stream is for us to learn from each other from our mistakes. Now that I've made these mistakes and my channel's at zero, <laughs> right? Now maybe you don't have to make those mistakes. Maybe if you have to go on a business trip or you have to be away, you can batch up some content to release while you're gone. Or maybe you shoot from your hotel room, right? Or maybe you uh, maybe you do like Rebuilding Black Wall Street and you get the Google ads and have the ads running while you're gone so that all of your metrics don't go to zero like mine did, right? So this is what we're doing. We're learning from each other and uh, we're just having a community. I'm gonna come back. I'm sorry to rush the people off that I had to rush off, but anybody who I rushed off, come back in about an hour or two, hour and a half or two, and we'll keep it going, all right? Thank you guys so much. I am not your attorney. I am the lead. And a quick shout out again to uh, Gail, to all of the moderators for dropping those links. Huge, huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, the sponsor of this live stream, Larry Reed Live. Uh, very, very generous super chat. Everybody who gave super chats, everybody who hit me up in the cash apps and the PayPal. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, this would not be what it is without you. Uh, we just have a really strong community here and you guys hold me up. You really, really do hold me up. I appreciate it so much. All right. So now your attorney, I am the lead attorney and I'm here to help you lawyer up. All right. Everybody have a great night.